quick, very quickly fix my camera because it is not cooperating. Hello, kicking YouTube. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Welcome to episode 45 of Parallax of Xenocrates. We kind of left at a bit of a maze of troubles and craziness. Uh, let's just kind of like kick off right back into it. Hello, everybody. Hi, everybody. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I mean, that does kind of fit the situational there, on. Sure. right? Yeah. Well, and with that, what do you guys remember <laughs> from the last time? A fucking minotaur. Nah. A technically that's white chicken. <laughs> so, <laughs> technically the truth. I'll let, Not yeah, fucking. I'll let I you. believe <laughs> last time uh we did, we did two things. There was uh let's see. We went to the island that uh then was the test where they said that somebody very dexterous should do. Alamos noticed a child steal a bag of gold and then take off into the city. And Alamos took off while the party was distracted with paperwork that we didn't actually have to sign. <laughs> uh, there was oh, quite the change. And, shit. and yes, a certain official got oh. covered in shit. And uh, thankfully, prestidigitation is a spell that our bard has. Um, <laughs> Would it be more like wyvern gu mm -mm. Um, oh, yeah. guano? Would be more. It's obviously it's still it probably, shit, but it's yeah. like it's like yeah. guano, you know. It's like back guano. Yeah. <laughs> what was uh, Bard's so, devastation again? What? What? What was Bard devastation again? Or what it's he said? <laughs> just <laughs> you're good. You're good. Just wake and, up. Andrew, just, just yeah. Just turn, but just continue <laughs> drinking your soda. Drink. Just just wake up a little bit. It's fine. <laughs> Sorry. Um, you're good. <laughs> All right. Um. <laughs> So then, after that test was thankfully successful because uh, Elamos caught said little girl, did not kill the child. Yeah, that Even was a very I strong think they were will. About to. We don't, we don't strong know fully, but... I wanted to, but did not. <laughs> we think Elamos might have, like... <laughs> hey, what's your alignment? <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you always go anyway. out of control. You can do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah, which I think that end part was the true test of all of that. But um, anyway, uh, then we were shown to a door, and they explained once we went in, the magic -y stuffs would not for work for the third trial. For the third trial, yeah. um, we had to pick somebody with a solid constitution. Uh, so we sent in our dwarf cleric. Okay. I guess uh -huh. that's fine. And, and I'm being chased by a BB. See, <laughs> yeah, a big bull cock. <laughs> so Claire yeah. entered and started moving around, uh, and discovered a minotaur. While the rest of the party <laughs> sat in the main entrance of it, and noticed that a map that came, a map up, on came up on the floor. And then, uh, uh then Claire found the first room, and. Said first room let him pick one of the party members to come assist him in the trial. Mm -hmm. uh, oh. To everybody else in the waiting room, Protect just disappeared. Second yeah. disappeared, but then noticed that a little like marker for him, like an additional marker, appeared on the map. Yep. I was like, okay, he's in the maze now. And then, rather than being allowed to go into into the maze, Protek appeared in the room, and when he tried to leave the room, uh, was given the chance to offer help to uh, the cleric in this fight, which Protek offered rage, I believe. Yep. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. uh, more one. Giant, the stone skin would have also worked, too. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff. That... Thinking about it now, Pat. But yeah. Stuff. Rage was uh, rage was the ability given, mm -hmm. and then uh, Thorny found another room mm -hmm. and summoned Liv, mm -hmm. who, and then offered up the wild shape ability, mm -hmm. <laughs> which Thorny probably used to become an air elemental <laughs> using mm -hmm. the wild shapes. 
um, uh, then, yeah, Thorny was zipping around all over the place and then found a third room and called in Kathos, who operated yeah. the roar. And that was when Kathos went, wait, I can see through Thorny's eyes. The maze is connecting me to Thorny. I still have a communication with Cross back in the main room. Yep. So I'm just going to be a conduit <laughs> to show Thorny the map that Cross has seen with the location of where the bull is and at all basically, times. Yep. And we basically gave him the ability of a mini map. Yep. Without mini seeing with walls. Locator. Yep. Yep. And that's where we left off with air. Air Thorny zipping around this maze. Mm -hmm. At what? Air, what is it? The air elemental's 90 feet. From yeah. Yeah. And is air. So. Yeah. So I believe it's better. Minotaur's turn on top of that. Uh, yes. Yes, we yeah. did end it um, with the Minotaur's turn being the next because you moved and then. That's where we ended it. You did your oh, like God. what ninety or seventy foot fucking turn that. <laughs> um, one hundred and eighty. I dash. Oh yeah, yeah, he you dash. dash. Yeah. <laughs> mm, it's still a minotaur. Does oh, minotaur things. Oh. <laughs> Oh, thank God. Well, here he walk comes. He walked by both Liv and Kythos. Oh, thank God. Yeah, he doesn't enter the room either. The room. Yeah, he can't He can't enter. That was the one thing that um, Church, like, realized that when he enters those rooms, um, the Minotaur can't do anything either. But well, we also found out that when he... Bastard. When Thorny gets a uh, um, special ability... Um, the Minotaur also gets uh, an ability. We just don't know what it is. So, oh fuck, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, as three upgrades. I think you guys have only seen mainly only that so he had far. advantage. Yeah, I, know. I think we've only seen two. Oh yeah, because he got a sword upgrade too, didn't he? Yeah, I think it. I think no. Yeah. He had a. He still has a battle axe. Or, um, but that but yeah, does he does he good. does have advantage on all of his attack rolls. Yep, that's right. Uh, and that then the one thing that was new was he tried to he used his charge ability. Yeah, to try to like oh. gut you into the oh, wall yeah, kind of deal. You. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. It was before you got to live for that one. Oh. Yeah, I just thought bowl that was normal. I didn't even. Question it as a new ability, <laughs> right? <laughs> but yeah. uh, actually, yeah, Minotaurs actually, yeah, they do. They have a charging ability that allows them to use their horns. I will do. move fifteen feet up to here. <laughs> oh. Sorry, you move fifteen feet. Uh, yep. What do you see? What do you see? What do you see? There we go. More hallway. All right. Um, let's see. That would put me at thirty-five all together so far. Yep. Oh wait, are we trapped in these rooms? Uh, yes. Yeah. 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 Shit. All right. Yeah, so you you it, can it, this is way. this is all churches. Yeah. So we yeah. get to just sit and listen. Yeah. This yeah. is part yeah. of the trial. We just had the fun hack of Kato's getting thorn hit map now. Yeah. See that. Oh yeah. He's already got the daunting roar. Um, sixty Kytos. feet. Yeah. Son of a bitch. Uh, 70. Da, da, da. 75. What are you doing this whole entire fucking time? Eighty. All right, so now that you're there. Come on. Basically, we'll see all the Ooh, stairs. Yay, stairs. 
Yay. So I want to I want to do something. You notice that at the bottom of the stairs, because bottom. since you're all enhanced and whatnot, yeah. um, the stairs have this the same little shimmer um, that you saw when you first entered the the, the labyrinth the maze. All right. Can I try to pass the barrier? Uh, you are. Hold on. What you can still see is. What you can see is at the there's a room that has two giant like crystal uh, minotaur statues. Um, the 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 staircases kind of shimmer, um, signifying a potential end. Uh, they said you wanted to. Oh yeah, I'm Go up the stairs. more feet I got, so all right. You start going up the stairs. You feel all of the things that you were given start to fade. Oh. You become thirty again. In your natural state. Um for That's the other short legs. For the other three, your oh. shimmery barrier on your doors fade as oh. well. And the entrance oh, where right. everybody else is at, that barrier fades. Um, and as you step into the room to see just about everything else, roll me a I... perception check. Does I still see the minute right here? I was just about to say that, yeah. <laughs> at the moment, yes, because it's still Thorny's turn. No, not great. So even though the barrier moves, I do not move an inch. <laughs> nope. <laughs> it's like, uh, my character basically, my character just basically takes a few steps out. <laughs> oh, it's still thorny. Yeah, it's still thorny. Oh, damn it, fine. Ah, <laughs> uh, you don't seem to notice that the eyes are following you. Uh, uh. Oh, weird. It's like one of those paintings. And you said you're out of move speed? And I I choose to dash, but I'm not. I'm going to take a dodge action. Okay. Protect. What do you want to do? Yes. Your barrier has dropped. Maze first. Hmm. I don't know if I'm supposed to be staying here or. Do I still have my connection to Thorny? Yeah. Okay. So, so extra, extra fun question: Do I sense a protect presence in Thorny's brain? Like, if I push a thought to Thorny. Is there a chance that Protec will get residual from that thought? I feel like with Protec... I'm not talking something complicated. It's more or less Kythos being like, the Minotaur is like right next to me. <laughs> I'd probably say no. Okay. Well, because you're still in the maze. Yeah, it'd be very, it'd be very faint. Mm-hmm. But you could probably get a little message across. Yeah, it's it's, it's literally just pushing the image, to, like the thought to Thorny. It's like if my door is down, and I assume the other two doors are down. So if people are trying to consider where they're going, it's just pushing like Minotaur by me. So they've got some idea of where it is. Not that any of us knows the layout of this maze at all, really. Well, I mean, Kythos does, because I'm connected to Crosses. So. You gotta remember, yeah. Crosses has got pretty much almost a picture-perfect memory, too. Mm -hmm. 
Wait, if Thorny has a mini map. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you have the mini map, but that's why I was trying to be like, if I push it, right, that's the dot through. The distinction I'm making. Like, we're seeing the, the, the maze more or less through Thorny's eyes, but we're not perceiving it through Thorny's mind. No. Mm. Right. Because <laughs> if we were, then it would be like, oh, well, then we all have a mini map. You're right. Yeah. No, no, exactly. So if that's the case, then it would determine on how well your memory is. And, Protech, for once in your life, mm -hmm. you realize the world's a lot taller than you remember it being. <laughs> if you're seeing the maze of my eyes. <laughs> right? Why do I feel so short? <laughs> I <laughs> has been doing the same thing basically. Kaito's <laughs> <So, laughs> is six three, <laughs> so it's, it's like twenty-five. You probably get residual thoughts of like, how does your neck not hurt? <laughs> I mean, why does my back hurt so much? Get to about there. No pain. That's no why they give you guys thick. Necks. That makes sense now. Yes. You need more support. For looking up. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. Well, see, it's not a natural thing. We oh, just there. earn that muscle by looking up and all the time. <laughs> just their neck is always like that, so it's just always a constant. <laughs> oh, did you dash? Mm, no. Because these, because these are still walls. Right. Now this is where Protech asks the question, are they really walls, though? Uh, yeah, right? Or are they How thick? Or did Protech just decide to this is not walk through a wall, wall again? Wait, so you didn't, did you what technically defines a wall? Or is it not no. putting you where you think you're supposed to go? Yeah. yeah. Or I, or I think well, now I'm re-measuring. Well, measure, the measuring, this, this one's off oh yeah okay the measurements the measurements are off so don't use the ruler i'd count out the squares if you can that's what so I'm since doing. you were here it's 5 10 15 20 25 30 will put you in between that's this right. hallway that's why i was asking if you dash because then you can go 5 10 40 20 and 25 30 35 40 actually then if you do another dash you can get here no problem Ping ping. Ping ping. Get to about there. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> so, so there we'll that would be a full yeah. dash. <laughs> All right. Liv. Yep. So Liv's basically gonna walk to the to basically they stick her stick her head out the door of the at the shimmer, like see if the shimmer's gone. She's gonna head out. Hello? Anybody here? Hello? I'm basically just like listening close for anything because like uh, I know I saw the minotaur walk by, and I'm basically gonna take a moment to see if I still hear the minotaur coming or if he's still nearby. Oh, uh, given how the echo walls are echoing, you can still hear the thump, 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 but it's getting further away from you. Oh, thank God! All right, so like, okay, thank God. So let's see. Uh, I'd say I'm probably about right here. Uh, um, I can move thirty feet. So how? What the? What are the squares? Are they five feet five, or ten feet? Five, five, five feet. So thirty could get you here. Unless you want to go. Yep. Up. Unless you wanted to go. That's the direction the Minotaur is going. Basically, if you're hearing it move further away. Hmm. <laughs> and you don't know that Kythos is down. Yeah, I don't know what's over there, and I, I'm basically like just wandering around blindly. So let's see. If I dash, I'll be fine. So I'm basically going to go straight, I'm basically going to go to the right, uh, instead of heading for the Minotaur, which I saw the Minotaur going down. I'm going to go the opposite way, so I'm going to take double, I'm dash to right about here, I think that's 60 feet. Whing. And while I basically, while I'm just waltzing, waltzing along, basically, it's kind of like giving a little skip while whistling a tune. 60 could get you there. 
Oh, 60. Oh, okay. I was off by one. Or five, at least. Okay, this. Cool. Minotaur is still right there. Yep. Hmm. <laughs> cool. Um, so I've got a perfect layout of this building space. Yeah? Yeah. Because I've got crosses connected to me. You know, oh, guys, spells don't, don't work, do they? Hmm? Uh, spells don't work, do they? Bart, we have no one tried. Oh, no actually, yeah. Actually, with the, the wall down and the wall separating the rest of the party from us is down, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Um, you can see that through my eyes. And they said when the door shut, not the outside door, but the inside door, when the inside door shut, that was when our magic went... No, it was mm -hmm. the outside. Or was, or was it the it outer the... door? I thought it was the outer. Outer door. Uh, um... <laughs> I'm also trying to think if... Oh, okay. Uh, I will... Um... I'm going to go ahead and try... Because uh, I have Mage Hand as a cantrip. Mm -hmm. So in the room with me where the Minotaur is not going to see, I'll try to kind of like Kaitho's okay, mage hand is more or less like sticking his hand out and being like, I want another there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Does the mage hand appear or no? Hold on. Your mage hand appears. Um, oh, but okay. as it appears, you feel this really weird ripple throughout the entire area that you're standing in. Um, for those down in the lower room, I'd like to dismiss that. <laughs> or, or for those down in the lower room, uh, you you see two large pillars on the north parts of the map arise. Sure. Like they're bigger than any other little token that you've seen. Um, Thorny, roll me another perception check. Well, what's your passive? I should say. As well, my passive is nineteen. Okay, then it's probably obvious that the two statues in front of you start to shift as soon as you kind of feel that arcane ripple run through the area, and uh, the two statues get up. Uh, so Timmy, uh, motherfucker said, "What the hell?" <laughs> can, I, can, yes. I, can I can I adjust a thing? Uh, cause we're we're not quite in combat or whatever. Will you allow me to dimension door, or do you want me to quicken my mage hand so I can dimension door? I'll let you into dimension door because, as okay. right now, the I've only one in combat point. is going to be these three. Cool. Um, I've got the map where Crossus is. Yeah. Like I've got the crosses map still going in my head. Yeah, you you haven't cut the telepathy. You haven't said so. Nope, I'm I have still not. Staring so at, I'm still staring at it. I am actually going to dimension door next to Protech, <laughs> and then when you allow me, I'm gonna slap a hand on Protech. And well, because you're medium size, you're only large for specific things, right? Uh. Medium. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's, he's yeah. considered for, medium. For the mission, for, it, it, yeah, powerful yeah, belt does so, very little. Yeah, so um, when you will allow me to make his remember, I'm going to slap a hand on Protech and Dimension Doros both to Thorny. Okay. In the meantime, Thorny, roll for initiative. Um, and so, yeah, those in the main room, person. yeah, you see what you I'll think look. is Kythos is uh oh, he's in trouble. and just <laughs> zip. Just Time for a ride. Which way do we go? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Dots just pop all over the map <laughs> into one and, location. Yes, and then uh because you're still connected to crosses, crosses, you kind of get that feeling of uh shit's about to go down. Mm -hmm. Um so the four of you down there. What do you want to do? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, 
For who done what? I mean, I guess I memorized the map as quickly as possible to figure out the pa um, the quickest path up to them, and tell everybody to follow me, and I start dashing out the fucking door. Okay. And I've I've committed oh. where Thorny is to memory because it was like appear with hand on Protech, and I've got the visualization of. What's your dash speed? Where Thorny is. Well, if I it's sixty total, but I actually. Did I pick up that today? No, I did not. So no, I do not have my expeditious retreat or any of my speed enhancement spells. So yeah, 60 total. Um Do you have Shatter? Yes, I do have Shatter. Mm -hmm. That's a that's a free <laughs> that's always like <laughs> that's yeah, a must. That the fastest there. path is always a straight line. <laughs> To I shatter mean, the wall. Wrong. Oh my god. Why he's would I not wrong. fucking do that? I mean, no <laughs> well, I already dashed, so I can't I can't okay. do I can't cast another spell, but I but, think okay. now you have the idea. But now I have the idea. So All right. uh Alamos, uh Adrius. I'll follow. I follow but, across this. I've got but, um with dash sixty. Oh, hey, there's my hammer. <laughs> Andrea is following as well. See, pro uh, going. I want to go this way. <laughs> okay, what's your dash speed? <laughs> Don't split up the body. We already did that here. Yeah, that was a requirement feet? of the trail. <laughs> Don't no, split you're, up the trail. You're 60 feet? Yeah. Let's see. So you move there, so you can see. Hey, Kythos. Yeah. How many walls do you think the horn can go through? It was so sweet of Abby. <laughs> you mean the Minotaur's horn? No, oh, the horn of blasting that. <laughs> do we still we have that? <laughs> yep. I, I gave have it that. to Protect particularly. <laughs> I just remember that. Um, um two maybe? I would yeah. Three? Depending depending on how far each how wall direct is are you gonna each other. Oh, if you want to do that, it. then I'm actually <laughs> If Protech mentions that, Kaizos has been looking at this map quite a bit through Crassus' eyes. So I'll take him to the path of least resistance. Because <laughs> there's one wall. <laughs> right up there. <laughs> oh, it's only one wall? <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, just to get right to him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I have a great hammer. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this might be the more economic option. <laughs> Cool. I don't know. A fucking horn of blasting just sounds badass just to fucking do and just go, you know, kind of like, again, the Kool-Aid man. <laughs> go take the demolitions expert. I mean, <laughs> if you do it here and you do it in this direction, you might get a couple of walls. So as you guys start splitting up, there's an idea that gets kind of tossed around in conversation. Mm-hmm. Mostly between Kythos and uh, Crossus. <laughs> but there's an idea of like. Things, I float things back. You guys are trying mm -hmm. to go through a maze and 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 we don't have time for a maze. Mm -hmm. What are you guys yeah. talking about? <laughs> Fuck your maze. <laughs> I just need to figure out. I just need to get into an open space because then I can like vortex warp Alamos up to them too. Like, I just need to be able to see shit. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. As Johnny, this is the thought I'm having. <laughs> the Minotaur has perfect memory of the maze as they remember it. 
I if quickly. the maze as they remember it does not exist anymore, how does oh that affect God. the Minotaur? They adjust. <laughs> <laughs> Improvise, adapt, and overcome. <laughs> You gotta remember, they have their own civilizations in a lot of the other um, dimensions, too. I, for I forgot that, because I was, like, reading on, like, the Dragonland shit, and I was like, oh, shit, that's right. The Minotaurs in their place actually have, like, a whole fucking city and everything. Yes, but Protec assumes that everyone is as, intel as intelligent as he is. As him, right? <laughs> Unless they prove that he's they're smarter than him, yeah. <laughs> exactly. So Jax goes a slightly different route after he as you guys were running down through the maze, you just hear this <laughs> as the stones like explode and <laughs> Jax just walks right through. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like next turn I'm going to be fucking shattering a couple of times. <laughs> Cash shatter move. So he ends up moving up to this yeah. wall as he's, yeah, as he's like shouting down the hallway that you guys are at. You know, <laughs> this, is, this is easier. Um, the funny thing was, is I was kind of heading that way anyways. Because, <laughs> like... Right there was kind of where I roughly thought, you know, eventually there was going to be an Wait. open that comes right into the middle. I guess you don't want to come with Mama? You don't want to come with Mama? <laughs> then you need to get your butt changed. Alrighty. First on this combat tracker, this living minotaur statue step, you know, starts to lift up and it's it's big old no, beady no, no. eyes staring at you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Goes to swing with its great axe. I, I don't know if it still works, but I did take a dodge action at yep. the end of my last turn. Yep, so it has disadvantage. And does not connect. But even though it misses you, it ends up ripping into the, you know, stone stoneway. Like it takes out a chunk of that square right there as it swings. Lovely. <laughs> Thorny's like, oh, skin of my teeth. <laughs> Thorny. All right. We're going to start with... um. I'm going to say there's no place like home and click my heels together. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Love it. I don't think we're in Brexit anymore. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tech, we're not, we're not in Kansas anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and... Oh my god, just be the worst of an actual lion. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's a that oh, is funny. Oh, we do actually we have a tin man. We have a lion. Who's our scarecrow? Hey, oh. Andreas, maybe. <laughs> and I'm well, going the scarecrow's to... thing is not. Oh no, it's brain, a... right. Yeah, so protect. Hey, oh. <laughs> I'm going to cast mm. heal on myself. Mm -mm. <laughs> I thought I was Toto. <laughs> You're casting heal on yourself, okay? And that is all I'm doing. Like, Oh my god, I was dying laughing. Uh, actually, damn. Oh, no, that's how all I much do. Yeah. Say, damn, how much was your heal for? 70. All Just of it. Jeez, oh, yeah, that one. <laughs> it's <laughs> that heal spell. It's just an automatic <laughs> one boom. Heal. Oh, yeah, heal. Just boom, <laughs> 70. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty. You click your heels. You, you heal yourself. You don't do anything else. I, I no, nope. Protek. You can still be Toto if you want to be. People, <laughs> you can be both. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> don't let human civilization oh. stop you from your dreams. <laughs> hey, who else here speaks dog? 
So just to kind of showcase it. Um, bow wow. I'm gonna use these like <laughs> bludgeoning yeah, no. AOE squares to showcase things that aren't there anymore. Oh, he so took, like, he took out, took out the so that you. part of the wall is not there anymore. It's just an open mess. Um, oh, with that being oh, that said, makes my job easier. <laughs> goes up and it gets to swing as normal. I mean, that horn of blasting might actually do some damage to them, too, if you can. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Yeah, this uh -oh. is part of what I'm asking Kathos. Yeah, Kathos. Like, I don't like that. Uh -oh. Not ideal, but... Move okay. out of first. Uh, 32 points of slashing damage. Ooh. Nice. All right. I'm pretty sick. Yeah. Thorny's still pretty tanky. However. God damn it. And that swing, both of that whole chunk of wall goes flying. Give me a deck save. It's not great. Oh dear. <clears throat> uh, okay, that's not bad. I rolled low. Um, basically, one you get an extra one point of just the rocks and stone flying at you, kind of deal. One an extra one point of damage. Some of the, gra some of the gravel gets in your eyes. Get a nice door if you see stuff. All right, and with that, we'll go back to. Protect and Kythos. <laughs> oh, uh, so you were asking how about the Horde of Blood? Let me back up. <laughs> Kythos is going to. Uh, uh, well, you want to get there fast, or you want to use the plastic and then run? I mean, we could either try to shake the walls down with the horn, or go through it with the hammer. Okay. I'm cool with I'm either use, one. I'm going to use. I'm going to point at, like, the corner that I'm standing in, Tim. Mm -hmm. I'll be right back. If you do it here, you'll probably end up with at least a pretty straight pathway to Thorny. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to back up. With with the hammer or the horn? The horn. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to back up. <laughs> to, uh... No, I like the spot. Yeah. I basically tucked around a wall. So, uh, I used half my movement, and I'm holding my action to dash and get or whatever. Or I'll, yeah, ready, ready. I'll hold the rest. Yeah, I'm ready. Badger. In action. Have you ever had oh. anyone in any of your campaigns rage, dude? <laughs> You're gonna rage and blast the horn. <laughs> Wait, does hey. Tony still have our abilities? No. Do we send our abilities back with us? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Tim, Am I still Tim sympathetically to raging? To him, but yeah, he was back to normal. Fucking A. So I would say if you rage, dude. <laughs> rage, dude. <laughs> I'm so glad you would say that. <laughs> I'll. I mean, I'll allow it. Because with with rage, do you can probably do harder. Just don't want it. Because normally, it if a normal peon dudes, it's a thirty foot cone that's audible six hundred feet away. If you rage, do you can probably get twice as much off of it. <laughs> oh, maximum, dude. <laughs> maximum dude yep I need everybody Can I cover, make... do I get a free action to cover my ears since yeah, I knew you, this was coming you get it with advantage but everybody else rolls a con save oh really yeah, even you... us all the way far down there, oh, down there? 
He raged, and then he... <laughs> the normal horn is audible 600 feet away, and he's rage duding. You guys roll, uh, roll for me. All right. I don't think I don't think um, I don't think the telepathy connection will um, get affected either, since you're getting somewhat of an it's... advantage. And yeah, but if he's raging and it's Jeez. a con save, then it's like, oh, what the fuck? I, 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 I could drop here. it on my end. That's true. But I think I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> I was like fucking folds the ears down, slaps hands over the nope. <laughs> Ducking behind this one. Is best. So who still needs silent. to roll? Uh, Does somebody know how to cast silence or something? <laughs> All right, these guys are getting fucking changed. A Alamos, I still need <laughs> from you. Oh, you gotta roll a percentage die. Yeah, I do. One percent chance, which <laughs> if I was I really an EMC, I'd probably add that like by like another five percent chance because you're Daniel? raging. But mm -hmm. mm -hmm. All right. yep, I'm yep. I need a con oh. save. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. And yes, I need a uh, D100 from Protec. Yep. Oh, that's laggy as fuck. What the hell? Uh, 19 on Protec, I see. Ugh. I don't know why that was so laggy. I see a 16 for you there, Alamos. Yeah, no. It might wait. Yeah. No, the... I think... The dice roll was really laggy. Let me yeah. quickly refresh. I'm just letting you know, though, that it did. No, yeah, no, I, I saw it came through, but it was. All right. So, for, PTSD. so for starters, okay, so I almost rolled a 16. Anyone who rolled a, yeah, that 15, uh, less than 15. Uh, so, Jax, uh, Thorny, and Andreas, uh, y'all are now deafened for a minute. Okay. Yikes. That's what? What'd you say? What? What'd you say? What? Um. I can't hear you. Oh, but I'm well, good. Well, considering that you're by yourself, I don't think it really matters anyway. How much? Or did you? Oh no! Oh no! He rolled a, Yeah, he rolled a nineteen. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> what? That's my big fight. Well, I'm glad you raged, but mm -hmm. <laughs> I knew this was a possibility. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you get the golems. Too. Nice. Oh. <laughs> get the fucking golems. Nice. <laughs> it's fucking great. Because <laughs> oh, and it's ten d six thunder damage. If it's if it no no it's five d six if it's yeah, crystal, made of glass or crystal. Or so first, so first we need a five d six. I didn't know that about them. Because all the deafened creatures. <laughs> the six. I mean, everyone's gonna take a bit of damage from this. On a failed save. I don't think it. I'm not. Oh no! Only way. the three. Never mind. Only mm -hmm. the three. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Takes half as wow. much damage. And, and so the oh, three that take half damage. Damage. So five, okay. Yeah. So yeah, everybody five, takes six. damage. Oh. Yeah, the people who save take half. The people who fail take full. I don't want to yeah. roll good. I think we. I think we only did. The. Uh, we only did ours for the noise. This is for the damn like the, like everybody else who wasn't. Yeah. So in, first we did a like con that. save, to see who passes or fails. Those that failed take 10 points of damage. So Jax, Andreas, and... Oh, no, it's just in the cone. Just in the cone? Just yeah. in the cone take the damage. Oh, Everybody okay. All of us do oh, yeah. the con save in... just to make yep. sure we're not deafened. 
Yeah, yeah. each creature in the cone. Because even make... if we're not in the cone, you said it was loud as fuck. So we all did our because I am yeah. doubling everything because of the rage. Yeah, and audible is like six hundred feet away. So mm -hmm. yeah, so if he's doing it by double, then that's yeah twelve hundred feet. So we would have right now be back. affected by the horn. Yeah. But yeah, as, yeah. as they say, it's the um, in the cone takes damage. Okay. Which means that I think Thorny saved or no, no did not save. So yeah, I ten point my, ten, yep, ten damage. <laughs> Jeff and Fern. That's ideal. <laughs> um. So then I don't take that damage because I wasn't in the cone. And then now pro attack. I need a. <laughs> nope. It's 10 d6 fire. 10 d6 fire. No, no, no. There's no, 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 no save no. if you're blowing it. Yeah. It's I'll, just I also need. Base. I also need a 10 d6 from you first. Oh, are they not made out of? Are they made out of crystal or glass? Instead of the 5 d6. Ooh. Or the walls. Damn. Okay. I mean, they've been destroying those walls rather easily. So they probably are very fragile walls. Go laugh. The smoke clears. The project just has a clear line of sight. <laughs> perfectly where the gun was. You just, you, you have perfect line of sight to just go grab Thorny Dimension Door the fuck out. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Uh, probably just make it easier. <laughs> so basically, up until the Minotaur room, um, everything that that triangle hits is <laughs> blown gone. away. Um, but now Perfect. I need a 10d6. From you. Mm -hmm. I'm back. As, the live, as the wall next to live just disappears. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, I've seen six. <laughs> yeah, that happened, <laughs> chicken. <laughs> yeah, no, I just now know it's the, the damn. Oh, it just keeps getting better. Oh, I guess that's too big. It's just on him. I was going to say. No radio. Yeah, it, yeah, just, it doesn't it just give a radius. Him. It's yeah. just him. It's like if it's like if a gun blows up in somebody's face, it just affects that person. Yeah, now if it's because he's raging. He's raging. Oh no. The horn exploded. Oh, All right. <laughs> so I have to wait for a reason. <laughs> mm -hmm. So you're raging, so you can take half of that. I was yep. gonna say. This sounds like yeah. mission accomplished. Uh, <laughs> when the horn explodes, however, and deals this damage, uh, any wall that is touching that fiery AoE is also battered and concussed. Oh, and Fantastic. but you have a perfect little line of sight to Thorny. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the the other walls that are also touching uh I can't even do that. So all the other little walls that are around Thorny, they're just exploding. They're just they crumble. This blast was so fucking loud that the, the wall this, next to Liv just disappears. Uh-huh. That whole corner so just collapses. Well, I just say it's it's over and like Krasus probably gets a flash of an image of Kythos peeking his head around the corner. And because of <laughs> and this, Protex because of how this, nothing. 
because of how this thing is, the the blast comes off like a mini earthquake. It just shakes the entire fucking room. Jesus. You also <laughs> probably, after seeing if this thing from Zach, you probably also get, so we don't have a horn of blast anymore. No, but I can <laughs> say now, Liv, Kotek, and Kythos roll for initiative. <laughs> <laughs> don't hate, don't hate the tracker. Great. We don't. Uh, so let me I like straight. to make a dynamic entry. Yeah, I didn't roll good initiative, but that so, tracks for no. what you said. <laughs> so let me get straight. Liv is just strolling along, you know, skipping along, just whistling to, and then just hears his loud yeah. ear shattering horn, and then the walls behind her just disappear. Yeah. Yep. Pretty much. Pretty much. Damn. <laughs> they, they they just come like the whole room shakes and those walls come down I have one and, very important question and 20 feet mm-hmm. behind you 15 feet behind you is Thorny looking worse for wear and two gigundous crystal, oh, uh, crystal. Uh-huh. minotaur statues Um, how's Protex beard oh no Little singed. It's gonna grow back. It's singed. Yeah. What, what is <laughs> yeah, it like every 24 yeah. hours? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Every 24 yeah. hours, there's a chance of it just growing. <laughs> I, I, I just picture clean, like burned off shave. Just pfft. see a 20 percent. 20 percent is really low, but to roll a 19 on that hundred DC, mm-hmm. just under that 20 percent tile, I'm like, oh like, no. Wait, did he roll it? And I scroll yeah. down and went. Oh yeah! Uh, I can just imagine Protect just touching his face, going, oh, "My beard." Oh. My okay, beard. I, yeah, I, it's I it's okay? it's singed. It's it's part of it's missing. Part of it's like still smoking little little red embers. Um, yeah, so that was. I was like taking a firebolt to the face. Mm-hmm. I still have a little movement, right? Or or. Is it still technically my turn, or are we in the initiative now? And now we wait until it's our turn. I'll let you finish your turn this time, um, because you just handed the the horn and moved away. I more or less was just like, you got this buddy, and then I moved you. (laughs) But Protec, you're not sure if this is just what the horn does, or if you just, like, Mm -hmm. overpowered it, because... You sitting there going, I'm going to rage and then blow into the horn and then it explodes in your face. And now you're just like, Mm -hmm. did I do that? (laughs) Is that just how it works? Okay, this is fine. (laughs) Okay, this is like, we're going to get it. We're going to need to get more of those. Yeah. Uh, So I'll move (laughs) back up. Uh, I will. I guess I I only used like half my movement. So I'll get back to Protec and then. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use my action to me to dash towards Thorny. Mm-hmm. Oh, what do I have? I'm trying to find a good gif of like that whole Looney Tunes thing where like the gun blows up in somebody's face. <laughs> oh yeah. Search yeah. Elmer Fudd. That tends to happen. I, I tried. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Yep, tried that. I tried Yosemite Tom, Sam. I tried Tom and Jerry. Tom, I takes the rest of his face. I only used 15, so I'll use 15 to go back to Protec, and then I'll use my action to move another 30. Okay. Which, where does that get me inside this? That's about as close stuff. as we're getting at the moment. I don't want to go all the way up, actually. Um, and go use my action just to get a little bit closer, so I've got a clear line on both these dudes. I'm going to try to shrink this a little bit so it's not taking up so much of the map, but it will still showcase the damage that was done. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. Um, I think... Excuse me. Yeah, because basically all of that is all just there's no more there's no more walls. No more no more walls. No more no more walls at all. Mission accomplished. <laughs> <laughs> right. 
<laughs> sitting here like mission failed really well. successfully. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, now you got, and not to mention the the walls that are in front of the statues, left or right of Thorny, are also busted down. So <laughs> Thorny doesn't look like she's in a doorway. Now it just looks like he's then standing in the middle of a staircase. Like oh, shit. Okay. Slash run big honk dot exe. <laughs> All righty. All right, uh, mm-hmm. and then I am going to. Use so you. I did my move. Use my action to move a little bit closer. Um, and then I'm just double checking. I think I'm going to quicken so I can cast a spell as a bonus action since I haven't cast anything <laughs> else this round. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> and I gonna be a problem. Um, I'm gonna cast. <laughs> Uh, I didn't actually cast this spell before, I don't think. Uh, ever it's Black Tentacles. You have not cast that one yet. On uh, these two mother truckers. So it is a 20 foot square on the ground where I can see within range, so I'm going to stick it right between the two. Just what, darkness? No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> tentacles filled a 20 foot square on the ground that I can see within range for the duration. Its tentacles turn the ground into difficult terrain. Uh, when a creature enters the affected area for the first time on a turn or starts its turn there, the creature must succeed on a dexterity saving throw or take 3d6 bludgeoning and be restrained by the tentacles uh, <laughs> until the spell ends. Creature, uh, but uh, creature that starts its turn in the area and is already restrained takes another 3d6 bludgeoning. Uh, creature who is restrained can use its action to make a strength or dex save or dex check uh, against my spell save DC on success. It frees itself. But yeah, I'm placing it so it doesn't affect Thorny, but I want to grab both of them into that. Yep, and they're both large enough to where they're okay. most undoubtedly. Um, ass tentacle. They're still in it. On. Yep. So. That was my thought. What is, what is up with warlocks and their spells having, like, tentacles involved? Like, I get their patrons are, like, eldritch kind of I'm a you know, things, but, like... That's it. I just have you seen the the world? World? All I'm gonna say I mean, is spells are amazing art like, material. It's not my fault. Kythos looked over Jax's shoulder once and saw some sort of, like, picture <laughs> in the book he was looking at and was like, oh, that's cool. <laughs> Because doesn't the um, <laughs> I think I can the, figure that out. what's the other spell that you casted that affected the dragon that also had fucking tentacles involved? Uh, Hadar. Uh, Arms of Hadar. Hunger. Oh, uh, uh, my Hadar. favorite Hunger. spell. Yeah. Isn't that right, Timbers? Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, just... hey, Kythos is just over here casting fucking weird ass tentacle spells. Fuck you. I think I think we know what Kythos. Why not? Because of which guidelines? <laughs> there was some jokes. Is, is, is Kythos, we never did ask. Which is Kaiso is gay or straight? No. Polyamorous. <laughs> Are we really no, asking that in the middle of battle? In the middle of combat? We're really asking that in the middle of combat? Yes. 20 bucks. Why not? 20 bucks. <laughs> It's me and Kythos connecting in our fucking the telepathy f- thing. I'm just fucking talking to him. <laughs> probably Kythos is probably Pan. And it's like, I'm a lion. I can't be too. All right. Bad, right. So <laughs> while you while you move and cast that, um, mm-hmm. protected the horn. Uh, Liv, uh, you're up over there. Process now knows that there's this very clear cutout show. Which reminds me, I got to roll that. Like, okay, well, that just knocked out several walls in our way. <laughs> now I just need to figure out how to get Shatter going. <laughs> it just get roughly over here. That'd right. I think probably what I'll do is I'll just chicken, chicken. try to vortex warp Alamos closer. Yes. You are... I'm letting Liv have a turn before... 
combat okay. tracker kicks if so yeah you just turned around the two walls behind you are down thorny's taking just- on two giant minotaurs uh kythos runs up to you from your from your right like yeah hello <laughs> And tentacles appear on them. And and summon tentacles on the ground. Ah, the ha ha ha. What? Hada. So I'm guessing by the looks of it, I'm guessing spell how our spells are back. Yep. All right. Uh, I, mean, I see the giant. The two bills, In truth, minutes, you or... never really lost them. They just there was a. Suppressed. They were they were kind of suppressed because there was a reactionary thing to the encounter. Right, right. All right. Um, this was the reaction, I guess. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cast summon beast at fifth level. I'm gonna at least try it. What beast? Oh shit! This is a, you, you're really calling me out on this. This is the first time I've ever seen this spell. Well, shared There's combat tracker. For it, I think. Unless, unless Mouse had like his own little chart for that, but I think there was a. Um, I'm, I'm reading this thing. Reading this thing real quick. Thing can do. Yeah, uh, it's gonna be a uh, beast. Of, it's gonna be a land beast. I was gonna say, I believe it's. Oh, uh, it's random. a bestial spirit. Okay. Yeah, the bestial spirit. Oh, you're not doing just normal summon beast. You're doing. Yeah, I'm some. Uh, I'm doing a a, a, a bestial spirit. Mm, okay. Yeah, which I think, like Church says, I think that's more random. Um. Bitch. BRB. There's really no. Yeah, there's really no things for it. Let's see. Choose an uh, environment, land, air, water. The creature resembles an animal of your choice that is native to the chosen environment. Oh, so I have to choose a uh, a land animal. Oh, jeez. And then it just takes on those stats. Yeah, so it's basically like wild summon. It's like basically a uh, beast, like wild summoning. Okay. Uh, let me just pull up the list then. Yeah, it resembles an animal of your choice that is native to the chosen environment. So you want a land beast, so you're looking at... Uh, creature of the land. Yep. I'm wondering how... Uh, like, does it say... Rating what like basically combat rating wise? Don't think it does, does it? No. No. Nope. It's not Damn. really a combat rating. It just will accumulate those stats. So, pick a land animal. Yeah. Got it. No, I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking. Um. Shark dog. No, it's a land. I see. It's a like dog. wolf, bear, dog, shark, triceratops. Let's go with that. Word. <laughs> that. That's an air, air we're going. We're, we're fighting them. We're fighting giant stone minotaurs. We might as well just throw some big at them too. Um, I know you jo- you were joking when you said that, but I think my brain had an aneurysm. Why? So. Wait, you weren't joking. Um, we have a problem. You can't. Uh, there's not enough room to put them anywhere. Oh god dang it's And which means yeah, if you don't have enough room to summon, you can't summon it. 
So try uh, again. Right. Damn it. All right, let me see what else I can. Could I go with a. Could we sell for a rhinoceros? Because it's just oh my one, God. Step, one step down from. Uh, it's one step down from huge. It's just a large creature. Are we going to have a, a giant. What was it in Monday's campaign? Like, Not stuff? a whole lot of space, but. Go there. Just barely. No, in Monday's campaign, I'm pretty sure Tibbers summoned two giant wolves. And they were so big that they actually just yes. got stuck. It was me. That was me. Was, was, was it the wolves dungeon. or was it like a zebra? No. It was like it, a giant zebra or something like that. No, uh, I know what you're talking about. It's when we were in that dragon's, uh, dead dragon's lair, and I turned into a, uh, a like a giant ram. That was it. So what yeah, level? I turn around, so I was stuck. So keep an eye on the fact of what level is the spell that you're casting. Uh, fifth level. So it will have an armor class of sixteen. Sweet. Damn. Oh yeah, it's a because rhinoceros. It's its armor class becomes eleven plus the spell level, so sixteen. Yeah. And its hit points is going to be twenty plus five for each level above second, so. 35 hit points. Well, I mean, uh, uh, second level, uh, let's see. Five, ten, Plus five 15. for each spell level above second. So yeah, three, four, three, five. Yeah, so yeah, 35. Oh, no. That's air only. Uh, 30. 45. Yeah. God dang it, why do I keep on the machine when I... Uh... 16 and 35. But at least it also has pack tactics. Sweet. All right. So I adjusted the AC and HP accordingly. <clears throat> so you summon that. All right. Down at the bottom there. Crossus, I believe you're up. Crossus stepped away. Okay, Alamos, you're up. <laughs> I can't. Oh, it's okay. I like to cross this like when the fucking room shakes and I all the fucking chaos going on. I, Alamos just looks across. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> um, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the skip as cross this is confusion, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep going down the tunnel. Um, I'm gonna take my dash action as well, so one, four, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, 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 thirty, forty, thirty, 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 Believe it or not, that was intentional. No. Where yes. is it that you are heading? Cross, yeah, uh, Cross, is like, Cross just forgets that we had that horn of blasting. He's like, what the fuck was that? And he's like, oh wait, that was a horn of blasting. Wanna, <laughs> yeah, turned into a regular play. horn and I was just like, meh, I'm to first. Like, I think he'll okay. enjoy it from it. You know, <laughs> like, pretty, he's like, was that, was that Kythos? <laughs> no. <laughs> So normally that you would find sign. one of these lovely little rooms. Um, instead, oh you come across a purple shimmery door um, that appears to kind of block you from entry. And upon the door, you see eight uh, points on either side. So you see a giant square, and then on either side there are eight points. Four on one side, four on the other. There's just four of them on that. I really am. I, I'm gonna laugh when it, if we're faced off with their fucking. Detect. Tech. 
Can I detect magic on the points of the doors? I mean, it is magical. You can tell that from a mile away. Uh, um, Are you can trying investigate. to investigate type of magic? Because detect magic will also tell you that. That too. Yeah, I'll do roll an investigation. No, not nature. Investigation. <laughs> You get the feeling that the nature of the store in some sort of uh, possible tele, uh, teleport, teleportation from what you remember in the main room that it had different points throughout it, the rectangle in the middle kind of represents the maze. Out of character, he's seeing eight points while looking at the door. Yeah, eight. There, okay. So the door kind of shimmers, and there's a giant rectangle in the center. And then along either side of the rectangle, there's four points on either side, running down the sides of it. All right. Just reaching in my bag. My uh, reaching into my bag, I'm going to grab my little journal thing, start scribbling down. And be like, okay, taking notes on that. And be like, okay, I can tell, I can give this to Krauss and uh, Kythos later. And I'm going to make my way back. But instead of going back down here, I want to go through over here. You don't try to interact with the door in any way? I don't want to interact the door without them first. Okay. I, I feel comfortable if I had friends around to help me with the door interactions because I don't know if it's going to be booby traps or... There was also a massive explosion. Smart just, thank just you. Hilarious. Right? Yeah. So, let's see. So you move from there, so... There. Five. I just heard an explosion. If that happened to him, he ain't gonna deal with that shit. So. You can go. 15 feet here. There's a hallway in front of you and a hallway to your right. Ah, uh, shit. Of coin. No, we're in a maze. Okay, I'm going ahead, forward this way. So that's twenty feet. And further all the way. Always. She can move ten more feet. Well, ten more feet. Here. Five, ten. There. But. All right. And now that. And now that he's back. Yeah. Sorry, Which... I had to fix. Current. No, you're good. Lighting. Your um, turn. Yeah, my turn. Um, well, I was. Okay, so. Am I free to move the, the this guy? Uh, I mean, that's just my shatter for yeah, explosions, that's but pretty, yeah, pretty much what I was just. Because I need to figure out area too. So, sure. Um, you can get everything in that area is open anyway. So if I let's see, that's 10, 15. I 
don't want to hit Jax. But I can also... Yeah, let's do this. So, 5, 10, 15, 20. 25. So if I move myself right here and then cast Shatter pretty much just right there. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to open up the wall for Alamos, but also open up an area for Jax to get through. Mm -hmm. I just mm -hmm. don't really... I just can't see. So if I move first before I cast, then what do I see? Scoot that off to the side for you. This one. Oh, too small. Yeah, because it's hard. Like this is because what is oh, this head all gone? Boom. So you move there first? Yeah, I'll move there first. And I'm guessing because okay. Hallway. Actually, yeah, because Jackson's there, he's there. Oh, shit. No, sadly, I don't think Jax is going to. Of course, he's, a, he's got his own spell casting. So, I mean, if he has to, he has to. This is mostly for Alamos, too. So, I'm going to try to knock out. Pretty much that. So I'm going to try to knock out the walls that are pretty much like right in front of me and the one that is to the left of Alamos. All right. so that Alamos can head right into the middle and like shoot straight up. Roll your damage. Uh, what? 17. I almost just kind of looked around the corner. Thanks. <laughs> um. So then I'll move that out of the way for you. Tiny bit smaller. Because you casted it mostly to go here. So yep. any any wall that. That touches is destroyed. Okay. So then. So it looks like now you got a straight shot. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then what did I. I moved 25. Yeah. And so my only. Because you were there. So yeah, five. Even if you do so 10, I... 15, 20. Actually, if we go one day, give you a diagonal for free. Give me a That's 25. Free. Okay. Because then what I'm going to do, Alamos, are you freely okay with being teleported? Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> because what I'm going to do is I'm going to vortex you. Um, if I have line of sight, I think I can vortex you just like right there. Yes. So if you are just free with being teleported, you don't have to roll a constitution save, and I will just action surge and um teleport alamos with a vortex warp closer you do that and alamos cool. gets put right in front of a wall right there probably still a bit of disorientation oh what the fuck oh yeah <laughs> right <laughs> Maybe like put my hand on the wall like Jesus Christ. Elmos, roll me a perception oh check. Right though. And then I need to mark my action surge off. There it is. Uh, right. And that will end my deal. Oh, the dice is so fucking laggy for me. I don't know why. Mm-hmm. Looks like I got an 18. 
Yep, there we go. Yep. So you notice in this center room that has the Minotaur logo behind you, you notice that in the four corners there are these strange arcane lights that are lit on either side of you, and because of the wall that process has seemed to activate the one in that bottom corner. But you also see that there is a strange flicker coming from this dark corner and just and but it's weird because with how much light is in this room, that shouldn't be shadowed. But it is. Okay. Is it, is it my turn or can I? Uh... I'll, I'll I'll give you a a chance to do something. Okay. Um. So just like this bottom corner of the room, it, it's like almost like a magic. Like it's just dark. Mm-hmm. Um. I know probably why, but I want to see if maybe process of a if I'm gonna. Roll investigation to see if I can maybe puzzle because it's so there's four lights. Oh, sorry, there's three lights in that bottom corner is not lit up, right? Yep, because there's a light here, a light here, and a light down in here that's lit up now. Right. Uh, I'll roll investigation to avoid any table development, basically trying to kind of put two and two together, like four corners, three of them are lit up, surely we're missing something. Ugh. Oh, actually 16. Yeah, you still think that it is some sort of a arcane trigger. Okay. That hasn't been flipped yet. Might need cross this is memorization of the map of like where no one's gone yet. So I'll kind of I'll hold until Crosses catches up. Okay. Do 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 do. Hello, combat tracker. Wee. If it's for the big bad. Minotaur of Living Crystal statue will take some damage from it's got a tentacles. Dex or strength check. DC 20. Roll your damage. Dang. What is that to nullify the, the Strength check is to not take damage or take damage. Oh no! You uh, <laughs> wait me. I will send to the game log to make life easier. Um, that check is it, it's it's a save or pass type thing. Uh, so fail. They take the bludgeoning damage and now they are restrained by the tentacles. Okay. If they fail the check. And then it can use its action to make a strength or dex check to free itself. Ah. So there's the first check if, you know, it starts its turn there or enters it for the first time. Yep. And it then takes if it gets blushing. restrained, it's got to make that DC 20 strength or dex check, not saving throw, but check in order to get out. Okay. So, and then roll. if it starts its turn restrained, then it takes the three d six right away the next time. Gotcha. So technically, I think they had to. So because technically, it I think they had to do it before, like when I cast it. I think they had to have done it because it's the first time entering it technically. But if it fails, it's restrained. 
Heck, it's, even, it's a little bit like Yeah, so it's going to take damage. Like... Okay. Just do your damage first. Casted. Okay. So when I cast it, it took damage, and then it just started its turn in it. So it takes damage, yeah? Yep. Okay. So there's the second batch then. So nine for both of them. Nine for when I cast it, and then nine for it starting its turn in there. And now it can make a check to see if... It can use its action to make a check to see if it gets out. Yep. You can choose either strength or dex. And in response, you end up taking... three piercing damage as the tentacles hit the form. You see a couple of shards fly off of it and almost heat seek for the attacker. It's... wait, what? Uh-huh. It's the tentacles, though. It yep. wasn't a targeted attack. It's in the space. But the tentacles don't have the ability to... I mean, you're a spellcaster. You're technically right. concentrating on it still, too. Yeah. Okay. So you said three damage? Yep. Ow. <laughs> For our tanky sorcerer. <laughs> In response to a creature hitting the statue with a melee weapon attack or I, a spell that deals that's... bludgeoning, the statue deals X amount of piercing damage to the attacker. It's called flying shards. Right, right, right. But the beginning of that, what is it? Or a spell that a creature blood... that well, uh, or, or a spell. spell. Yeah, he did. He said melee or a spell. Melee weapon that attack or a spell that deals bludgeoning. Yep. And Basically, spell any spell that essentially is a attack thusly tentacle okay. slapping it I, yeah i'll take it for now but yeah it didn't come directly from me but that's fine all right i think but at the same time yeah, the tentacles ta take damage either yeah they can't yeah yeah um we're good it's just one of his two interesting abilities. Um, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Pop it, pop, pop. Well, it's going to then use its turn to try to. I want to break free. Fucking two. All right, nope, it's still stuck. It's Can't still move. Stuck. Can't attack. He tried to make a meme out of it, Tim. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> That's restrained. Restrained is can't do anything. Not very effective. Yep, can't move. Can only attack its attacker or grappled with. And it can't because there's a bit of a distance and they don't have reach. Cool. Pro attack. Yeah. Excuse me. I think they can still cast spells. Can they still cast spells when it restrained? I don't remember that. Potentially. But that's just me being me. Player table talk. How far is that going to be? Oh, yeah, that's like 20 feet. That's easily. Can I squeeze between Thorny and the Rhino and the Minotaur? <laughs> mm, yes. I think there's like just right, enough space. Right, right in there. Yep. Yep. I think just there's in the just enough space, but that's about it. <laughs> yeah. With all the with all the stuff you can't really see, but I think he's right. <laughs> yeah, but that does mean that I can Impose disadvantage on attack rolls against Thorny or the Rhinoceros as a reaction. So that's fair. Remo. But I feel like it's a good time to, you know, activate the shield and, and start start bonking. We did the honking, now it's time for bonking. Bonk is bonk is. You actually move Protec a little bit more even with Thorny, he'll be in a square. 
just because of the overlapping of how big the yep. tokens are. But yep, that's pretty much right on point in a square. I had to zoom in really <laughs> much to see. <laughs> I was like, uh, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, it's a weird one. So you're bonking. Yeah. I'm bonking. Just ask anyone. anyone. He can, he I'm just rolling one. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say, Big? Well, you know what I'm going to ask yeah. for now. Them. <laughs> oh my! What's this percentage again for? All right. For uh, you. crit fail. Lucky for you, nothing happens. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's right. Just a normal right. fail. Okay. Got it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So then we do it again. Do it again. That's a 21 hit. It does. You hit the orange one, one on the right, one that's restrained. Yep. Okay. Has anyone ever noticed that? Oh, the shoot. I need to. Number goes right if it's Add a something to that inventory. Mm-hmm. And. What's up? On hits and such, if it's a critical fail, the attack rolls against the creature have advantage. Okay. Yeah. So also, if you're hitting the one that's restrained, you have advantage on the attack roll as well. Oh, so should I re-roll that uh, failure? Yeah. I would gladly. Oh, Uh, yeah, the to hit. Also, since when do they color code some of these dice rolls? That's kind of cool. I know. Look me an hour just. Like so that was doing that. that Monday, and I was doing it today. Yeah, yeah. Like I've never noticed the criticals to be a red, like a critical fail to be a red. Like, and I'm like, anything that the game considers as a low roll or a bad roll is a or something. Yeah, comes up as Damn. thing. Black That's is normal and green. Oh, green yeah. is actually yes. max roll because he got eight plus four for his damage. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Also, add I two to that because I forgot to activate my raging. Oh, rage. Yeah. yeah, yeah, both of your attacks hit then. Nice. This one will have the six on it. What did you roll for the other golem lower. to me? Since I, it, when I cast the initial. Yes. Okay. So other golem is not restrained. Gold deeds. Oh, you mean did I roll all oh, for the second yeah, golem? Yeah, because when I cast, yeah, basically when oh, I okay. cast it, that should have been when their initial. Yeah, gotcha. there's that an idiot. Fun. There's a lot going on. Uh, then no, let me quickly roll for that one. Yeah, we're both restrained. Yeah. So it takes, All right, it took nine when I cast it then. Yep. That was the initial. I've applied it. So your sun splitter does 24. 14 plus 12. 26. And that's bludgeoning? Uh, is it? It's an axe. Or, oh. Slashing. Axe is slashing. Yep, yep. Slashing. Alrighty. Yep. Does that end your turn? I believe so. Torny. All right. Push the tentacle square. And they're both restrained. Where they are. <laughs> All right. I'm going to cast uh, Spirit Guardians. Yeah. At fifth level. Ooh. What's your highest casting level there? Um, six. Just for overall. Yeah, six. Like, how big is that circle then? It's Fifteen foot radius. Yep, from him center or her. Sorry. I'm back. You you can call her potato. I don't care. <laughs> She's not a potato. She's a potato.
Boom. Okay, I'm going to take one step back. Nope, not left. And that's going to be that. Alrighty. Oof. Alamos. I need a strength saving throw. Oh boy. That's interesting. I'm all the way down there, too. Oh, I'm glad I get advantage on that. You almost don't notice it or how it kind of blends into everything. But you hear the scuff, scuff, huff, and charge. Oh, no. As the Minotaur comes out of around this corner. And it's goes for a full charge on you. That's right. Oh. Shit, I forgot about that. You spin around just before impact and manage to throw both of your arms on top of the horns as it's pushing <laughs> you up against, as it's violently trying to push you up against the, the wall. Okay. And due to its charge, even though you've grabbed it, you can feel the wall behind you starting to, to give to the push. Oh, boy. I mean... Um, you do end up taking... 12 points of damage for the turn, grab, and slam into the wall, but you really and don't get sorry? pushed. Uh... Essentially bludgeoning. Bludgeoning, okay, so six. We really murder Hobo the Minotaur. But you don't get pushed through the wall, nor do you get knocked prone. Okay. Could be worse. Could be worse. But otherwise... It ends its turn, and Alamos, you may go ahead and roll for initiative and join the tracker. Okay. God, my dice is so tasty today for some reason. There's also a lot going on in this map right now. Yeah, I think the horn... Oh, oh yeah, that's right, you did destroy. That's right, the horn, that's all that rubble stuff now, so... Uh -huh. Um, question. Um, Thorny saw sta um, exit between the statues. Um, is Crossus is line of sight for Kythos? Um, can Kythos line of sight see the stairs? Which means would Crossus be able to see that? Yeah. Okay. Stairs is what. Protech is still kind of standing on. <laughs> well, these these ones right back. Sorry, the the entrance oh. behind. Yes. The statues. Yes. Okay. So I so think everybody would have that. line of sight on that. I would believe. Okay. All right. So then. All right. Yeah. I'm just advising. So. <laughs> Almost just looks across. It's like, hey, hey bitch. bitch. Whose turn? Oh, yeah, because there's, there's nothing. You guys have last yeah, set on each other. Yeah, there's nothing now. <laughs> All right. Kythos. I'm keeping that spell up. Um, it's 
fuck it. Um, what I've noticed that bludgeoning is not the greatest. Oh, uh, so I'll say something along the lines of like blunt push trauma bad. That's right. Uh, uh that's right. I forgot something. I, I, it's uh, kind of protect. That. Well, protect hit it twice. With slashing, though, right? Yep. Still it's it's a melee blood. weapon attack. Mm. Or spells that deal bludgeoning. Right. Is the secondary thing. So out of your two attacks, the, sh the crystal shrapnel that would have hit you would have been a total of 12, which I think you were raging, so you take half that. Yay. So a weapon six. That only makes me angrier. But that was the one thing I forgot. Yep, you're up. You got two crystal binatars slowly trying to move, but is stuck in your tentacles of... Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you got right. a rhino in front of you, a live to your left, and two very armored, very... You, you're pretty much completely surrounded by protection. <laughs> that <Yeah>. is right. <laughs> With a literal cone, you can vis you could visually see this cutout of crumbled stone and I don't know. Crossus says to Kythos' thought of bludgeoning bad, I think you might be wrong. I think bludgeoning is good even though they do do damage. Mm, I, I think they don't I think they have a minor weakness to bludgeoning. Uh, Hypothesis. Uh, I'm going to. Um, surprisingly, that's the only spell in my arsenal with blood. <laughs> um, you have something that can do thunder damage. Thunder damage also does things to our inorganic stuff. Surprisingly, tends to have no. disadvantages. Well, do I not? I'll fix that later. Um, <laughs> I mean, you kind level. of are a mind sorcerer, so. <laughs> mm -hmm. I still tried to branch out and, oh, yeah. you know, cover things. Um, you know, we're gonna try. Yeah, I'm going to try a... third level dissonant whispers on one of them. Um, do the dude on the left. He's taking less damage to me. Hmm? I'm going to try a third level dissonant whispers on the guy on the left. It does okay. psychic damage. Uh, it's wisdom save of 20. You notice that when you cast it, it seems to take no effect. None whatsoever. Mm -hmm. To the psychics. Okay. Psychic does jack shit. Cool. Um. And it's a fire. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I keep trying to not just fall into that. Uh, Quicken, I'm going to firebolt one of these guys. Okay. Yeah. Which, so which one? Dude on the left. Dude on the left? All right. You roll it with advantage. Because he's restrained. Oh, yeah. He's stuck where he is. You have one statue that goes at the beginning of the turn, and you have one that goes at the bottom of the turn. Is 21 hit? <laughs> That'll hit. Lovely. Uh, so then that is 3d10 fire damage for this guy. 
Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, because I picked back up that one lovely meta magic. I'm gonna reroll that. Just point blank. Just rerolling oh, that. Because you can roll ones and twos. <laughs> Oh, uh, it's in power, so I can reroll oh, as many as I. Yeah. yeah. He can. Would like. Shoes. Yeah. In power is very different. That's better. I like. Damn. It. <laughs> <laughs> Just triple that damage. <laughs> Wee. So yeah, All eight right. fire damage to the dude on the left. And that's not bludgeoning. It's fire. <laughs> you are correct. <laughs> so yes, it. It like, no. collects with it connects with it. It's just like yeah, it doesn't really make any sound or anything. You just fire upon crystal. Yeah. You anything else? Oh, right. Um, no. Wonder what, would, yeah. wonder what would happen to crystal if you just put a wall of fire on top of it. We'll find out soon. <laughs> Live. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So how I'm, how far is the how far am I from my from the rhinoceros? Uh, and well, 15 feet. Old. Yeah, about yeah, 10, 15 feet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, basically run over to the rhinoceros and jump on top of it. And I believe that should put me at least close enough to where I can at least uh, whack the these crystal minotaurs with the quarter staff. Uh, at least the right one. Yeah, the orange one, yeah. So I just need you to roll that for me, Badger. Okay, can, give me a second to fix this. You're, you're good. You're good. There are a lot of things lot happening lot right of there. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to... Yeah, we, we, know, we, know, we know this is destroyed. We know yep. this is destroyed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. At this point, yeah, we, yeah, we're good with that. Yeah, we're, we're, is that I all know been difficult there. terrain, just out of question? Huh? Was that, is this all considered the walls being destroyed difficult terrain? I thought about that, but because some of the walls have been blasted away. So most like, kind of like a debris, so there's just like... Small debris water. field, but large enough that you could traverse around oh, it without making it difficult, yeah. Okay. All right, so you're smacking the one on the right? Yes, I am. Which is the quarter staff? Uh, yeah, the quarter staff plus two. Why? Now, the square with. Uh, near the entrance, is that completely like caved in? No, that's or just is that the same? same kind of thing, just destroyed walls. Okay, so, so. open space, yeah, open <laughs> space basically. Okay, so you end up dealing difficult six damage to that, but then in return. You take three damage from his flying shards. Piercing. Three damage? Yep. Yep. All right. Uh, that'll end, that'll end my turn. All right. Now, left Minotaur has got his. Ow! Oh, so I give him three D six because yep. he's restrained and he starts turning it. And I yep. expect I take however the fuck much. Yup. And twenty three radiant. Yeah. Such a Wait, great what, combination. Um, Wait, what about so thirty bludgeoning to me? How much do I take? Do I How much bludgeoning? 13. 13. Uh, does the rhinoceros get a turn? It would have, yes. This is effects from the stuff. But yeah. But yeah. Oh, yeah, your rhinoceros goes with the Yeah. Yeah, because uh, your rhino, technically, it's supposed to go when you go, I think. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. That's right. All right. Sorry, so why am I not seen? I might have to reload here. So minus that. And then you said 13 damage. Yep. Oh, OK. Um, it's flying yeah, shards actually that. rolled high. You take 15 piercing from that. Oh. Response. Fuck. Is it 15? 15. 2d10. Um, so it goes there, it goes there, and then oh, wait, it's I going... I gotta roll concentration on maintaining if I'm taking shard damage. Yep. And that's just a cotton check, yeah? Uh, yes. But I have advantage because I have a warcaster. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. What is it, half or ten? Yeah. Yeah, it's either half the damage taken or DC or 10. ten. Okay. Whichever so is higher, so. Do you want me yeah. to roll for the whatever the three I took no. last time, or you want to just call it okay? No. It's like three damage. <laughs> yeah. You got scratched by some flying crisp magical crystal debris. I mean <laughs> I think you're good. All right. So you save that. That's still enough. good. <laughs> now it can try and break free. Now it can try to break Strength free. Strength index check. You see twenty. I won't do my free. No. Now that I'm singing the song again, it's not going to let me. Will it? <laughs> it's the rules. It rolled a nine, so no. <laughs> it's a Stuck it's still stuck. <laughs> so, which means even if it wants to attack, it would be disadvantage. Uh, but it used but because, its action to try and break but out. But moved its action to break out, so it's. <laughs> this is great, Thorny. You don't All gotta, right, Thorny. You know, do your it up. Every single time to okay, so I'll let you do. Is, okay, hold on. So right <laughs> before that, it roll? goes. Um. Process. Yes. You're up. Okay. Uh, this is kind of what I was trying to figure out. Um, so. I am going to move here behind the. Um, Minotaur area. And uh Roll in front of me a perception when you walk through that area. Okay. Thirteen. Yeah, even out of the corner of your eye, as soon as you move into that section, you got light, you got light. You got light in the middle of your shatter from earlier, but this this bottom left corner seems awfully shadowed. Doesn't really seem to like fill out when I uh -uh. or clear out when I kind of venture through there. Okay. Like you get near it and it still stays shadowed, and even on the like the simplest of like glances, you're just sitting there going, "There's there's." Too much light in the area for it to be darkened like that. Yay. Um, trying to, I'm trying not to, to, I think if Crosses yeah. would do this and not like meta play too much here. Um, mm -hmm. I was going to cast Scorching Ray. Anyways. Originally, all three shots were going to go into the, try to go into the back of the Minotaur. Okay. Um, out of that, Crosses has a bit of a hypothesis. Um, he's going to shoot two at the Minotaur and then shoot one kind of just straight 
into the darkness. Alrighty. As a as kind of like a blind shot test. To see if uh that darkness is like magical. Okay. Is it a roll to hit? It is a roll to hit. Um All right. so, so give me are... three hits. Two for the Minotaur, yes. one for the darkness. And I had actually pulled out my arcane focus, so I need to double check because it has been just a little bit since I've used that. Mm -hmm. Or my arc arcane firearm. So um, add one to you, eight two spells when casting with. Okay, so that's just an extra damage. Okay. Oof. Uh, twenty-eight for the first uh, hit. guessing on the minotaur yes that'll crit okay all right um so then it's um let me do the math here real quick it's 2d6 plus 1d8 And the way the crits go again, remind me. I'm sorry. I, they know always do. So that. each each beam does how much damage? Uh, normally two uh two d six um plus one. With the arcane firearm being used, it adds an additional one d eight to each shot. So it's an automatic twenty. Twelve twenty, yeah. 20 um, plus whatever you roll whatever you roll flat i should say flat okay yeah okay that's what i needed to double check it was just going to be flat um, yep because how i do it is that it's whatever the initial hit would be plus whatever you roll and then there's the 1d8 so 17 on top of that so 37 damage okay second shot that's just and that's just the first shot i know that's really <laughs> like oh shit uh 18 to try to hit that'll hit okay yeah. so this is just uh 2d6 and then another one Oop. Mm, gross um seven for the second Oof. shot yeah um, and then the third shot is just, like I said, being shot kind of like behind me. I'm just going to quickly turn, try to shoot in a straight line. Um, okay. So still, like, give me a roll to hit. What's the wizard spell for fire? I can't remember in Hogwarts. <laughs> I feel like that's what I'm doing. Like, <laughs> I mean, the wizard spell for fire? Ascendio. Yeah, yeah. There we go. I'll just, that's my brain just casting Ascendio, Ascendio, Ascendio. <laughs> Um, okay, so then which is the which is hit. weird because it's very close to the Latin phrase for fire that Baldur's Gate it. three uses when they cast spells. That's true. Which is right. which is one thing I've noticed is like it's like what are they saying when he casts firebolt all the time? And it's basically the Latin word for firebolt, essentially. Yeah. yeah. Or insidious, um, yeah. Thirty. <laughs> just for a random fucking shot why could it's it not necessarily random it? as you go to aim and fire your last sling you see a shimmer in the darkness and that kind of becomes your target and you go and fire it into the darkness and it hits this <laughs> it it passes through this really strange light source that just erupts into light so now that corner is lit up what you don't see is another portion of the map also lights up and right, because of the walls yep and now you kind of see you're not sure if it's your uh scorching ray or not but you see this like red arcane line shoot back into that corner as if it's connecting with something through the wall. But when you glance over to your left, you see another one shoot from that right corner into the corner of the wall. 
And then as you kind of like glance around the room, there's a third shot from up here somewhere. And then you kind of see more of the one behind you goes, you know, down this directional. And there's like this invisible beam almost or partly invisible. You can see it um, that connects with it. And then there's this sudden shift. There's a shaking of this entire. Everyone feels it. It's almost like a mini earthquake. The floor starts to rumble. There's this cloud of dust that kicks up off the ground. But you start seeing the walls drop from the ceiling <laughs> as they slowly tick, tick, shimmer, shimmer, rumble, 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 rumble. Like the whole arena is shaking. Everyone's feeling it right now. Shimmer, 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 shimmer until they Where's become the floor. The again? The nope. whole arena is now is now open. Well, I dropped the walls. <laughs> yep. There, there's a moment of you know you're you're facing that way, so you you can kind of see Jack still trying to orient himself from being deafened a minute ago. Uh, Andrews is probably like, what the fuck? 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 As the the walls are just dropping. What uh, happens to Alibos with the Meditor? Well, Alamos noticing that the because of the strength check, um, as the wall starts to like shift and fall behind you. Uh, yeah, no, Andreas catches her catches bit. her footing and kind of like pushes forward a little bit so that there's this strength. The Minotaur is still trying to push forward while Alamos is just holding it there like yeah. the fuck. <laughs> and Andreas basically pulled out his shield and mace and is just like pointing it around the room like, what the fuck is going on? But now, yeah, but even what? Andreas, you can clearly see Jax. You can clearly see Andreas. You can see or uh, uh, Crassus. You can see Alamos uh, pushing around a Minotaur at the moment. And then you can see all of this bullshit that is happening to the north part of the map. There are these crystal things wrapped in tentacles. There's just, there's a whole shit ton. There's debris everywhere. And yeah, Crossus is just like... What? There's a rhinoceros <laughs> with lives sitting on top of it. He uh, uh, Andreas like rushes over and without a second glance just grabs Crossus and wraps okay. him in a hug <laughs> and just... Ah, I thought you finished your <laughs> It hasn't even been 30 seconds, my guy. It hasn't even been 30, 30 seconds. seconds. Just like, dude, we were like <laughs> apart for like 45 seconds. Like, not even. <laughs> it's been 45 seconds. 45 seconds. So, I can get rid of these three things because now there's no walls at all. Uh, but now. The three of you can join the initiative counter for the round. Mm -hmm. Spirit Guardians is going. There's black tentacles on the ground. <laughs> it's a rhino. It's great. Love my. Yeah, life. and is and uh, and is what's what's probably more confounding to me as the DM is that all this rumbling is happening and the walls are dropping, but because the majority of the fighting is happening where the horn took out a good chunk of the wall on that area. You guys really don't notice that the whole arena's walls just shifted no. into the ground. <laughs> there was just a rumble, and then that was it. Oh, I can probably hear Andreas freaking out to some level, but it's like, did, did Protect do it again? <laughs> I, I asked. Maybe. <laughs> Protect. <laughs> All righty. So then we go. Well, now that you guys actually rolled higher, uh, now we will start the <laughs> this combat tracker with everybody on you it. Could, you could skip. You could skip my turn because I did roll higher, and I can All just right. wait until next round. Andreas. Well, Andreas ran up to you guys. He probably would have sprinted for let's see. Yeah, we've had to sprint. So Minotaur right side. Yep. 
Ow. Oh, so he takes okay. 3d6 for you. Yep. Because he, he hits takes that three, auto. He also takes 3d6 of bludgeoning. Uh-huh. Because the tentacles are like, ow! Uh-huh. The tentacles are just flailing in this little corner, just smacking between the two so of them. Smack, 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 smack. So he took 12. What is the damage I take from what if it's truck flies off of it? Oh, he takes 12. Yep. Uh, uh, so he goes there. Uh, 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 low roll. Nope, 12 points. So you exchange 12. And nice. Okay. And let's then add the 33 damage from Spirit Guardians. <laughs> so All the save. Come. Don't forget the save. Oh, it has a zero. It 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 it. Oh. no! It didn't. It didn't save. I mean, it can still all. roll a seventeen. It, it can still roll a seventeen, but I rolled a six, so okay. it ain't happening. I'm <laughs> just saying, don't forget it. <laughs> That's why I got more upset because it's got a dex of negative one and intelligence of negative two, wisdom zero, charisma negative three. It's only good in two categories. So you're saying we? Uh, you're saying Jack should seduce it? <laughs> <laughs> I no! mean, he's not saying Jack shouldn't. <laughs> Just because Jax can become a crystallized minotaur doesn't mean he wants to. Uh, <laughs> I mean, when you think about it, changelings are glor- glorified mimics. Um... <laughs> Mimics if they were good guys. <laughs> okay, I can I can see that. Yeah, <laughs> they're the light side of mimicry. Uh, so let's see if it uses its turn to get out. It rolled a nat fucking one. So ah. That's a no. I just love this because that one. means they can't just <laughs> they have even more problems trying to escape the spirit guardians. This was supposed to be dealer. a much. Bigger fight than what it's been turning out to be. This I is... some spirit guardian. I'm gonna do something that tries to keep them. It just blows Hello. <laughs> Hello. So something I something I didn't quite think of when I went to stop the the minotaur. Did I end up dropping my sword, or can I maybe roll to see if I was able to kind of keep hold of it? I would need a roll. Okay, well, would that be a strength dex. roll or dex? Okay. Dex. God damn, these dice are clunky. I was almost a nat 20. Oh, you bitch. Damn Your sword it. is on the ground. God. It clinked. Ah. You spun and saw this thing charging with like a split second reaction. You went you let go of the yeah, sword to yeah. go for the horns, but because you still um, have it, um, yeah. you still have it. Did by, I, you still have the bull I, by the horns. Did I use my lichen form last like? thing? Because I, I don't have it ticked, and I can't remember, honestly. Wait, what are you asking her? Come here. I don't think you have yet. Okay. I think you that's, wanted that's, to go lichen form when chasing the kid yeah. and decided... But, that, I use Zephyr Strike. That's what I used. Okay, I remember. Yes. So I'm gonna go. So I'm gonna use my bonus action for Lycan Form, and then let me check. Have I used Action Surge yet? Because I'm a. Because if I haven't, I've got an amazing idea. Because this thing's about to become a. I've not used Action Surge. This thing's gonna become a chew toy. <laughs> so as you get this so, thing by the horns, um, while you're while you're doing that, roll me a, a strength check or okay. athletics, whichever sire. Uh, I'm gonna do athletics. <clears throat> oh, oh, oh! It's your must net on it. Ooh. Damn. That was close. That advantage. <laughs> yeah. It's just funny because advantage still comes up as red because you had one in there too. It was going holy <laughs> right. shit. 
I do, I do like how it shows up when you've uh, hit bold one, though. That's a nice little touch. Uh huh. And so, as you got this bull by the horns, your body starts to shift and manipulate very, very transformer style as you go into this leg in form. Uh, yeah. It can kind of so. see what's going on because its head is still kind of pointed downwards. Um, but as it tries to like flail and lift its head, uh, you're just like, no, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> so yeah, now it's I, like I've, stuck. I've it's trying to papers. push. It's not going anywhere. It's trying to thrash. It can't go anywhere. And now, and now you're in like so, form. Yes. Here's, here's the fun thing with Gloom Stalker. When I start my, when I attack, I get an extra attack. So, combining that with Action Surge, I can bite this thing five times. In theory. Yeah. Let me just double check Gloomstalker, but I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Gloomstalker, one extra turn per action, or? Um, I believe you, one extra Red turn ambush. per turn. Let me double check. That is the fine that line. First. At the thirty-first turn of each oh of each com wait hang on what does that okay maybe not then the first turn of each combat does that mean every time we have to roll for initiative or is yeah. that every round yep yep so basically oh, you can do okay. it once then per combat okay yeah I've misread that then so okay so I can still get this thing four times well if you haven't yeah, gonna... used it yeah yeah you or... if you haven't used it you can still use it this fight yeah oh. Oh yeah, true. Okay, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna bite this thing five times. Um, I'm gonna try and go for like its eyes, but really whatever hits. Oh god, these are gonna be painfully long to do. That'll hit. And you're just going for bites this whole time? Yeah. Oof. I was gonna say I'm like holding I'm holding it down by the horns and then I'm just like ah. seventeen for the second hit there, Tim. It is slow as hell. I tried switching my dice in case it was the one I was using, but no, it's still so clunky. Probably most likely something running on the back end, taking up a little bit too much internet or processing power. No, I checked my internet. Oh, fine. I checked like my my um my task manager, and everything is fine. So I think it, maybe it's just the API on the server. Done. I I don't know. Yeah, those were not the best rolls. Twenty-five, seventeen, sixteen, fourteen, and eleven. Yeah. yeah, I get, I get like, I get like two solid bites, and then it just starts going worse. All right. Well, do how many of damage? Those hit? Uh, all but the last one. Oh, nice. All right. I just like the sequence of the numbers just decreased. <laughs> yeah. Twenty-five, seventeen, <laughs> sixteen, fourteen, eleven. <laughs> so then these are the damage um all right so the first first attack was nine uh the second attack i'm going to re-roll with um savage attacker and i get another two <laughs> Okay, fine. Eight for the second one. Nine, eight. Okay, that's nice. So, 27, and then... Oh, come on, be a six. Oh. Load, there we go. Nice. Max. 27 
37, 39 damage. Yep. So... You go and start biting it, like, hold, using your hands to hold it. You start, like, biting. It's, like, you know, go for, like, the scruff, go for, like, a headshot. Um, maybe try to go for, like, a, you know, try to bite to, like, poke out an eye. And eventually, you just get, you notice that with every bite, with every flinch, the, the Minotaur's strength starts to wane up to the point where you just get annoyed. And with the final strength, Push, you kind of lift up its head and go for the jugular <laughs> as it just yes. collapses in front of you. Yes. You can just see just like blood just um in go- uh, going down like my neck as I like eat the jugular or like the bit of meat that I've had off. <laughs> These three have a little reunion and then they turn around just to see you go. <laughs> As you are now just blood covered, but Minotaur is dropped. Yes, I am the alpha, and I believe you still have move speed. Yeah, I do. I got 30 move, so I am gonna look at the look. But I'm getting this is the first time I'm getting the glance because I was only like feeling the wall go behind me. Mm-hmm. I'm just looking back to see the anarchy behind me, and I'm like... <laughs> ah. I have everything under control. Everything is <laughs> fine. Do I hear that from that far away? <laughs> oh, no, that was me. It's, that wasn't okay. That was oh, okay. okay. Was... <laughs> I was gonna say... Uh-uh. Um... You know what? I'm I'm gonna remain stationary, I think, because I'm also seeing there's not really a lot of room for me. <laughs> okay. So I'm just I'm just gonna kind of stay there, just like looking like what the hell is happening. Uh and that ends my turn. Jax just kind of Casually walks up next to <laughs> Alamos, looks down at the carnage, and just kind of like nods, like, I see you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, before deciding, you just, see, you just see like you just see like a big two feet grin, like covered in blood. Let's see, I got three beams. So let's go. Are you going uh, full Danny DeVito mode? Oh, that one will hit. It drops all three shots into this, into the right one. I had the better visual on that one. And does enough to make it better, but not like people think damage shatter more like it's just kind of like it's a couple blasts of force damage, and mm-hmm. it like each each blast of Eldritch Blast like takes a chunk out of it before it just kind of falls apart in a pile of. Uh, crystal shards on the ground. Like while it's just strained, while it's getting beaten by tentacles, all of a sudden it's just <laughs> first Eldritch Blast miss, second one blows off its shoulder and then down falls its weapon. Third one kind of goes through the middle of the chest, like the right. upper portion of the chest, and it like blows a hole through it that causes its head to so fall and the whole thing crumbles. More like Oh, anyway, I started blasting. Yeah, but you, for all of all up you front, you notice that that Eldritch Blast, because it's force damage, uh, seemed to really rip through the Minotaurs. Nice. Really rip through it. Yeah. Like, most of your other attacks are like pew pew, and this one just kind of went, even though the Eldritch Blast isn't a very big beam, it like knocked a hole into it. 
Um, oh, trust me. It's definitely not a big beam. The hog learned its lesson with that one. <laughs> Protect! Yep, well, I'm going to try to force some damage, too. Um, <laughs> I step into the side. And, yeah. Smack it. Get a bonk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Johnny, you are definitely the definition of someone picking up a frying pan as this high cast iron. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, so 23 and... Hit. Oh, those are the... <laughs> supposed to both be with advantage, and I... Okay, so that'll be the You'll first let... one, and oh, then the second attack the I'll second just one. actually roll. Yeah. Yeah, the second one I will just <clears throat> roll with advantage. So, yeah, 23 and 16. Both hit. Both hit. Fantastic. First. And second. 19 damage. Ready? Alright. Does that end your turn? Um, I assume there's some damage oh, really? in retaliation. Yes. Not normally things I have to worry about, but... You know what? Fuck it, we'll action surge. Uh... So, it would be 28 damage, but since you're raging... No, the rage damage is applied now. Oh no, damage to you. No, but you're resistant oh, 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 is what sure. I mean. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, so you take you take fourteen piercing. Oh, baby. Fourteen. It would have been twenty eight, but since you're resistance, you only take fourteen. Okay. Uh and I, I will action surge to continue. Do it again. Yep. Uh ba, 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 ba. so we've got a seventeen and Hits. 19. So, do more. And it looks like, uh, yeah, 16. (laughs) Rolling twos. Okay, well, with a negative three, how do you want to do this? What? Smashy smash. Smashy smash? You just start wailing into it until it crumbles? Yep. Yep. Alrighty. And as it comes crashing to the ground, I get to say you guys are out of combat. Yay, no more wombats. No Wait, more what? wombats. Well. You That's think we could pause for five minutes so I can walk the dog over real quick? Yeah. Given given time frame, we can do a little break time. Yeah. Uh, we'll time. resume in a couple minutes. Okay. Yeah, a little, little five minute cool. thing, Thanks. five ten minute thing. So yeah. So we'll be or be. Okay. Bye. Cool.
as we come off of a little breaky break. Welcome back. Um, thank you for that. Uh, yeah, you guys are officially out of combat. Yay. Cool. So, um, I'm guessing the exit is over here behind the statues. Yeah, that will determine if the casters want to drop any other spells. Yeah, I'll drop my. <laughs> yeah, but good boy. Yeah, might as well. I didn't cast anything. <laughs> well, and I'll burn my boots off too. <laughs> um, Click. All right. Well. Okay, so uh, so like I take it you guys are there. coming up to kind of gather and. Mm-hmm. Now that the whole floor is open. Yeah, pretty uh, much. Alamo, so you staying in hybrid form for the time being? Uh yeah. Okay. We'll keep you in hybrid form. Yeah, over here. All right. Oh, wait, first. I won't be on. Would it be rude yeah, of me? Because your hybrid form's there. The no, I have one. Hang on, let me relook. Oh, my screen app one's gone. What? Wait, if you want. Look off the Minotaur's horns. Look. Kind of because off. I pulled you off the screen. Oh, my. <laughs> no, on, on my screen, literally everyone disappeared. <laughs> that's what I mean. Like, all icons disappeared. Actually, yeah, that's a good gathering. point. For, that's actually a good point. Because can I can I take. <laughs> Before I will go, can I take the Minotaur's horns? Can I just, like, snap them off? I like one. Sure. So you, spend, yeah. you spend some time ripping out the two horns from the Minotaur. Hey, Badger. I mean, I got tools just to cut them, if you just want to cut them off. So, Liz basically had to get off the rhino. Liz is going to go over to the to the crystal Minotaurs, and I'm going to inspect, I want to inspect the crystals, like, see what kind of, what... What made those so distinguishable about turning them from crystals into heat-seeking missiles? Oh, that was their yeah, that was their ability. Like yeah. I want to see if, like these are magical crystals, you know? Oh, they're very much magical crystals. Uh, they were living crystals statues. Um, nice. And so when a lot of constructs like this are built and then are given you know, arcane energy, they hold on to that and use it as their source of, you know, movement and attacking and stuff like that. Okay. Um, and would it be possible for for Liv to uh, basically, you know, try it uh, be possible to gather some of those crystals? Some of the shards? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Awesome. I'm going to go ahead and grab as many, as many shards as I can. Okay. You just start going around and Scooping shards oh, yeah, into you protect a bag. On the shoulder. You're like, that's good use of that horn. Good job. Oh, mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, very much. While I'm doing that, I'll look at everyone. Uh, across. Just gonna look at everyone and be like, "Hey, everybody! My name's Vile. My name's Bill." <laughs> Bill Resley. Yeah, I'm Bill. I'm basically, I, you know, I'm. Uh, I'm Bill. I'm li- I'm Liv's, uh, you know, altered personality. <laughs> I think Liv had a psychotic break in this. Uh, I mean, being dude, we got a lot. Um, <laughs> developed a just dual personality like... out of trauma. That's quite the interesting set for the character. All right. Mm-hmm. Of course, seeing Alamo's like, holy shit, is that a mecha? Is that a mecha werewolf? I don't know what a psychotic is, but I could go for a break. Uh, (laughs) I was going to say, Liv's seen me like (laughs) tens of times before like this. Yeah, not Vil. Huh? This is is Vil's first time meeting everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, So Liv has had a psychotic break and has developed a dual personality since. This is Vil. You did? Like you, Alamos. I see you're trying to copy my idea. (laughs) <laughs> kind of like Protec, uh, kind of like Protec did when he went to that blood, to that blood rage in that one, uh, that one tomb place, whatever. When I was taking, when I was uh, filling for Protec. 
Oh, oh yeah. yeah that's right. I was trying to become a head surgeon. <laughs> Uh, wait, you mean Gavin? What? No. Wait, are you on about Monday's campaign? No, no there was chicken a... Filled oh. once. It chicken was filled in once. Chicken filled in once. Yeah. That was before uh, you got into this group. That's early. That's why yeah, chicken's been kind of my, like, my go-to for fill-ins for Saturdays. Is ah, every okay. time we seem yeah, to need one, he's a, available. <laughs> and there was at one point we were playing... Uh, I was playing as Protec. I was filling for Protec. And it was merely just... I grab an enemy, I put him on the table, grab Mag's like, let me, let, this seems not something wrong with you, let me check your brain. <laughs> to say I want to become a head surgeon. Yeah. No, when, when Liv weeks out, like, just Alamos' uh, eyes go orange and just like, what do you want to know? Oh, yeah, it's like, it's like, Mecha Werewolf. Oh, yeah, you're the one that fell in caca. <laughs> All right. Um, All right, so you guys walking very quickly to Bill. <laughs> Shitty bot. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like a okay. You know what? All right. Lovely, All right. So, what are you guys doing? Start walking very. Um, oh, I'm power walking to live. I took uh, <laughs> I took a minotaur horn off first before I walked up to where I'm at now. Okay. Oh, yeah, so I want to look at something real Well, quick. the crystal minotaur horns are going to be very different from the... Yeah, I... No, I'm talking about the minotaur minotaur, like the, the actual living... Oh, okay. One. So you have a I horn and... Horn. Yeah, I took off, I cut off one and of And Alamos has a horn? <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah, you weren't getting both. I wanted, I wanted to make a helmet with both. <laughs> I had plans for a gun with... I had plans for a gun for the horn, so... <laughs> Well, I, I, need got, I, can... one, I, I need at least one horn. How many crystals did I pick up there, Badger? Uh, a a decent handful. May I recommend a brothel? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That was with the phone. Yeah. I'm sure if somebody just wants a horn, if they do a decent perception check, they might be able to find a crystallized horn. I want to roll perception. I want to see the actual lake. I want to look for that horn. Well, I'm, yeah, I'm specifically talking about the two that are fighting over a Minotaur horn. <laughs> no, see, uh, somebody's got a schematic that somebody gave well. that <laughs> I've been gathering equipment or um, ingredients for, so... Oh, I know. <laughs> I would at least like something solid for the stock, and I think a Minotaur's horn, not crystal, a true mm -hmm. actual Minotaur's horn would be good for the stock. <laughs> <laughs> Alamos, you've out of all of the broken chunks of crystal that may or may not be usable, there is one partial head piece that still has a single horn attached. You, I carefully break the horn off, try not to shadow it. And somebody's got tools that can help you with that. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more than happy uh, to do shit for people and just give me off give me a have... give me a dex or athletics or uh, acrobatics say, dex check. Eventually. Wait, acrobat wait, if, did you say athletics? Or our, our acro no, okay, athletics is strength. Acrobatics is dex. Okay. Uh, how well can you precision shot break this off without I just before I do, like, anyone who's ever played with icicles days. have had this moment of I want the whole thing and only a chunk comes off and you're like son of a bitch. Well, you just that's, why you go for the, that's why you go for the mm -hmm. hardest, the most sternest part, and you just kind of <laughs> a little bit of pressure. Yep, just a little oh, bit of pressure. Almost, that was almost a twenty. I would like to point out that was almost a back to back twenty. <laughs> All right, but you still you still get enough to break this. One yeah. crystal horn. How big is it in comparison to the other Minotaur horn? Is it like quite a lot larger? Is it similar it's size? It's about the same similar size, just different material. Perfect. Can we fashion a horn out of one? Like a what? blow horn? Like to replace oh, the yeah. horn of blasting? Yeah. 
I was waiting for you to bring that up. <laughs> Mine. Uh, you probably don't necessarily have the skills to do that, but... Well, but Thorny might. Thorny definitely doesn't. <laughs> no, stone Chalice is might. feeling very hard I mean, I can right make now. you a stone horn if you want, but I don't think it's going to do much. Must. Can That's I, fine. Can I actually like, replicate that all item? Crystals. God I damn think it. artifice just can replicate us the horn of plastic. You 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 connect you collect enough crystals. You collect a good two handed handful. Cause then it look all in that god damn it. Alright, so across this, you're going into that room there? Yep. I'll follow him. But is that is that a thing we can do? <laughs> I was gonna say, I'll make you a horn if you want a uh, stone horn. Yes, I do. All right. Um, you okay with me burning a stone shape just to make him a stone horn? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> Help <her. laughs> okay. Replicate magic item. Where is it? All right. So you go into room. How deep do you go in the room? Um, just to basically about the top of the stairs. Nothing too far in. Uh, All right. Yeah, well, you noticed like right on these little pedestals. Ooh, I don't want all that. I, want these. I can't replicate a horn of blasting. That sucks. Oh, sorry, you see oh. six glowing crystals <sighs> on top of a pedestal. However process you recognize these you recognize you recognize most of them recognize most of them most of them along your guys's journey especially early in your journey you guys came across certain crystals that interacted with another certain crystal on your body you I vaguely remember yeah I mean, it sounds like other players. Yeah, yeah. You guys uh, found... No, I remember it was part of the whole basement thing with the getting stored as the, the lich getting separated out. There was a crystal up top in the tower, and then there was a crystal mm-hmm. down below. The and there was rock the, in the, yeah, in the antechamber. Interaction type things. Yep. Early on, people interact with the yellow, which gave you guys the ability to activate your bag of holding in the wrist, in the crystal. You guys had found a green one when you guys just met up with Protech and Crossus um, that gave you guys the oh. ability to get revealed these mist portals. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Man, it's mm-hmm. been a while since we've encountered these things then. Oh, oh, tiny, tiny interruption. My wife wants to show what she was scanning and occupying my time with. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, wow. Oh wow! Oh, yeah, that's horrifyingly cool. Uh, there are specific <laughs> spots that are painted with very, very reactive glow-in-the-dark paint. Ooh! Oh yeah! So, nice. At very first nice. thought, I thought that. Oh, is that what the scanner was for? Just to activate the um the UV? No, no, the scanner was so that she can just scan make like prints and stuff of it. But got it. At my that's at my cool. first glance, I thought. No. Yeah, her mom threw a tantrum because it's not for her. But yeah, mm-hmm. it's <laughs> wildly like, hold on. So this is it fairly normally. Yeah. Yep. And then, like, it reacts. Whoa! Yeah. Oh, that, I just reacts. Yeah, that, that yep. reacts. Yeah. Wow. It's real fast. When when I first real saw fast. it, my first my first thought was it was uh, it looked like um Raven from Destiny. That was my first thought. Okay. Yeah. But no, she was having me scan it in, but it's such a long thing that it doesn't fit the scanner. So it's oh, new yeah. Oh, yeah. To, like shift it, scan it. Of it. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Okay. So we have crystals. Oh yeah. wait, didn't we didn't we touch a crystal that was in the Ettens? Like wasn't there a crystal or something that we touched mm-hmm. with the Etten Tim? It yeah. Was. I that think that was a green that one. Us? That was your the the mist portals. That's how you guys found the underdark. Where you guys right. found 
Protec and you yeah. cross this, and eventually you. No, 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 that was after. No, the that. Etten was. Oh, after. that was a. Or oh, no, that, not the Etten, the Demi Gordon. I did the, the yeah, quote unquote the, 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 Demi Gordon. Oh, that Demi-Gordon. was the. Uh, yeah, that is that is where you guys also found the uh, the. Waystone too. Yeah, we got like a. Yeah. So you guys. Type. Yep, that was the blue one. Um, you got yeah, you got a There's memory fragment six sitting here. Um, hmm. But there are six sitting in this room. Yeah. Yes. And it looks like what we've got is I'm a little colorblind, so correct me. We've got red, white. Well, um, I can't tell what that was. I realize I can change their things. Right, so black. and yellow. I realize yeah, I can change yeah. the rings, so I'm going through and changing the rings right now. Okay. Oh, okay. No, you're and you're fine. I mean, it's just. Yeah. Oh, he's having them match the actual colors. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, because there's the blue one. Yeah, that's right. We have red and red. (laughs) Yeah, I think he's going to fix that here shortly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's good. He's working right to the purple. Oh, the purple. Mm -hmm. God, the purple giving me PTSD. Yeah. Not the purple. All right, but but you have this feeling that all the little crystals that you had encountered originated here, and you guys don't have you. You recognize a few of them, but you guys don't recognize all of them. Okay. Uh, there were rooms behind us too, right? to me like off to the left and right it looked like there were little hallways mm-hmm. yeah yeah and yeah, nothing's happened since cross has stepped into the room right correct i want to at least peek i want to hop down here and look down this hall oh yeah we still have our thing going too mm-hmm. or, or our connection yeah yeah how long has that been going Combat's been pretty fast. Like, it lasts 12 minutes. Like, the connection lasts my level amount in minutes. Right. So, so it's been, And you also yeah. were going down to the end, and you recasted it, too. Yeah. I probably yeah. want to restore it, yeah. Uh, so I got a room with stuff on a table. It's that weird mind's eye thing. <laughs> Gonna check to see if there's anything. Uh, this room seems to be a like a almost like a chow hall, dining hall, um, kind of like a mixture room. Um, you think that, especially with knowledge of some of the rooms around the arena, that Mm -hmm. at one point a group of people lived here, or at least lived in this upper section. You know, maybe they were the game runners. Maybe they were. Maybe this was something that Zeno created. You're not quite sure. Yeah, I but mean, I'll take the other than the fact that everything there. looks dusty and cobwebbed and old and rotten and whatnot and everything, it just that's kind of the first impression it gives you. Is got a lot I'll, of motifs of minotaurs going on here. <laughs> I'll I'll step into the room. Mm-hmm. Just I'm being very very cautious to see if there's um, anything giving me. This is a trap vibes. Can I check for traps before I step in? Sure. I am going to step in. Yes. Yes. Okay. Hmm. But. I'm. um, For now, I am pondering about the crystals, but I'm also going to do. Yeah, I'm going to examine the room and look for any other I mean I see these entrances um so I guess I, I yell out to, so everyone knows that currently where I'm at no hostiles oh I just don't want to take up every, the whole time while people could be doing mm-hmm. something oh, yeah. you don't see any traps 
Okay, I'll step into the room then. Just a step like here. Okay. Anything I can discern, like books wise, on the table? Like anything that. No, there is okay. something written on the wall, though, that kind of stands out. Okay, what's on the wall, then? Kind of written, and you don't know if it's paint or crayon. It's kind of like this greenish writing. But it says, Brahma Cool. Brahma Cool. Go cool. Mm-hmm. So that, that word's bouncing around Kaisos' head if <laughs> Krasis is. <laughs> and, and of course, yeah, Krasis gets that and he's like, the fuck? Rama, cool. Mm -hmm. Is that in your head or out loud? It's in my head, yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, I guess actually Krasis would kind of silently mouth it, like, just kind of because that's... Shit. Just something that I think, yeah, he would kind of do just out of that. He would yeah. kind of mouth it a little bit. He would be like, Brahma, cool. Like, just no one so, around, not loud enough. But Based on your proximity, just by mouthing it, kind of, the etching in the ground of the bullhead, the lights light up, or the, the eyes light up. The little eyes, okay. Yeah, so on both of the statues... And the big carving here, the eyes light up. And you are, well, actually, Kythos as well, kind of get projected a mental memory. You understand in, like, the splittest of seconds that Brahma Cool was a group name. And you see... Kind of like walking around the area, you see what seems to be younger versions of people you have met. A stocky dwarf, a female elf, a bulky elf in the corner, a half fork reading books, and the lizard folk talking about what he's making. On the fire. <laughs> All right. Okay. After after like getting that flash, okay, this is just gonna be like. But it wasn't here. The flash was not a memory from here. It was essentially back in the real world. It was it was a location up in the mountains. And you kind of get the impression that it was the team's base of operations. And, and Brahma Cool was probably their team group name, obviously. Uh huh. Um, the other trying to remind me and anybody else and um, chime in if you remember, wasn't there another time that we've seen Zeno's memories? Yes, I know when in we the defeated the Etten. We saw something in the temple, but also when we defeated the Etten, we got a flash of Zeno going up to an altar or something like that. Right, Tim? Yep. Uh, at the very least, there. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you said the temple, Alamos. Are you talking about underground, like, water ones? The the ice temple where we took the helmet off of um oh god got his name. Mm. Did we see memories? Yeah, um, we did. When the when the temple ex when the big temple oh, basically no, no, no. exploded. No, no, that was that was Lysander showing yeah. a vision of the future. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah, I'm saw. I'm talking specifically Zeno's past memories. Like this is this I believe this is the oh, second time that okay, we've seen okay. Zeno's past memories of him and his group. It uh, I feel like, but I don't want to get too caught on this. This was just. A I feel side like thing to every her, time so. we've touched a crystal, we've got to get the wave we? Yeah, because there was a time. There was a time that we had a vision. 
of um, a lizard folk person getting the gem into the wrist. Oh, 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 Abelis. When we defeated the mind dude, we got a vision there. That was when we discovered the crystal was our inventory. But we got a vision in that temple, I believe. And then when we defeated the Etten, I know we got a vision. I can't remember if the crystals with the tower we got one or not, because it was kind of preoccupied. Yeah. Yes. I'm trying to remember what vision we got with that one. Yeah. Unless yeah, it was him locking away the lich. <laughs> it was the it was the locking away the lich. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the one in the tower was locking away, so we've at least seen three. Yep. Maybe so this is seen... four. Yeah. So this is the fourth one. Okay. Yeah, after finding the word this on this like, wall. This is one of like of a past, like him and his group. Some of the others that we've seen is just him doing his own thing. This is I think the first time that we've seen one for his with him and his group. So something to make note of, I think. Um Yeah. I've kind of leave this room and like say to Thorny and Dylan Prozac and be like we got more crystals and we got more memories. And I'm going to move across to where that other hallway is, Tim. Or that mm-hmm. little other opening. Mm-hmm. To see what's going on in that room. Alright. This room. Mm. Looks to be like a workshop. Hmm. Which makes sense place to eat, place to do workshop. The only other oh. interesting thing is is why why are we being shown this after having a third challenge against a bunch of minotaurs that is somehow somewhat deals with constitution or having to handle multiple things and living a while. Um why is all of this stuff back here being guarded by these minotaurs in this challenge? I guess it's part of the challenge just to show if we're good enough, and if we are good enough, now they're giving us more information. If we're going to go up against Xenocrates, they're giving us more information know. on Socrates, Xenocrates in general. Sure. I mean, I'm I will, also, Xenocrates made I will also notate that compared to the rest of the lower grounds that you guys have been in for however long, that Given that Thorny activated the second staircase and has kind of even revealed all of this ties to you, this area that you guys are in seems more dusty, worn down. Uh, so not much people have been. No here. one. It doesn't seem like much of anybody has ever been back here in a long, long time. And of course, so playing off. So playing off of your theory. This area would feel way more like untouched compared to the rest of the arena that, yeah, it's kind of old and dusty, but this is like cobweb filled and rotted and stuff like that. So maybe there's a chance of, you know, when's the last time somebody who actually completed the trial actually made it this far? That also goes into my theory of part of the trial if you beat it then what is it uh you get more backstory like you get more tools to fight Xenocrates we get more of its backstory maybe maybe which could be understanding of how to potentially defeat him which we under we already know like he's fucking powerful so um excuse my language <laughs> it's just uh, i know uh, right i'll well, step i'll step into this room to me the other space wasn't trapped i want to yeah, see no. if there's anything written. the workshop's got little bits um granted nothing's really usable anymore but it looks like there was like hanging wraps for herbs um kind of like a mini storehouse uh there's some barrels and crates of what was probably like a food storage 
um, various other little side projects, little metal scraps and things that Nothing people, depending on, on whatever they're working on. Anything no, written on the walls in here? Nope. Nothing's written in the walls. Okay. Uh, across this, though, you walk into that room and you see what would be three beds. But instead, they appear to be stone sarcophagi. And on each of the beds seems to be a name. And the shape, even though they all have bull heads, uh, the body shapes on the top of the sarcophagi uh, resembles a dwarf and two elves. But one thing you do notice is that scraggled on blood, dried blood maybe on the far wall, says here lies. And the three names, Throg, Sander, and uh, Cassandra. All right, where's my dice? Somebody else is going to have to do something else for right now, real quick. Chathos <laughs> <laughs> uh, is going to start, like, we're going to look at Thorny and be like, this place is creepy. Creepy. Uh, yeah. Also, looks like it hasn't been touched in a long time, I think. Yeah, and I'm not going to pick up their maid service either. <laughs> <laughs> No, I just mean if this is the trial to see if people need to get to Zanakati's, I don't know how many made it past this place. I mean, I know the room I was stuck in had bodies in it. At least a body, right, Ted? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I don't think anyone's made it through in a long time. All right, Crosses is going to go over to Drogues, uh, the one labeled as Drogue, and throw open the casket lid. Oh, fuck. Or try to push it open. Strength check. No athletics. I'm just sitting in here. Yeah, I'm noticing. None of these crystals match the same color crystals we've seen. 17? Four of them do. Two of them do not. You have seen and interacted with the yellow one, the green one, the blue one, and the red one. So not purple and orange, okay. Yellow gave you guys the ability to use your bag of holding in the crystal. Uh, one revealed mist portals that allow, even though like Jax was Jax's tavern was sitting on one, nobody ever noticed it. Do you guys activated the green one? Um, right, that's true. <clears throat> from the dragon attack for those that were really really early. Um, there was a blue one. Which allowed was whoever tower, was holding, right? huh? That was the tower, right? Yep. That also linked the waystone to be able to try to find these anchor points that kind of like guided you along your ways. Uh, and then you guys interacted with the red one, which was at the end, right? Yep. Which you noticed like very early, there was this eerie fog that followed you guys everywhere. Mm. Um, activating that, a lot of the fog lifted. You guys can actually see your surroundings. Can I touch the purple one? You want to touch the purple one? Yeah, sure. Why not? All right, cool. So you reach out with your gem hand and touch the purple stone. You see it immediately activate your gem to where it turns purple. And in doing so, you obtain a new sense. You get a sixth sense. You get a <laughs> different sense that will be added here to your character sheet. Can, 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 I touch, can I touch the purple? Thorny touch the purple. So Vil's going to go ahead and just, you know, follow Thorny when I just waltz in. Ooh, crystals! And Alamos is walking, 
Oop, I like game myself. Ah. Um, when I mean, I'm, I'm also looking, then I kind of love this stuff going through Crossus's head. And I like walking in. I'm walking behind Kai first, and I'm just like, "Fuck is this? What? What's this?" That's a great question. Hey, Badger. What's up? Uh, I can see over. I can see that. Uh, what do I? I see a door over here, right? Hold on. Sorry. It's the uh... it's the entryway on the right, in the room with the crystals. Uh, over here. Oh, yes. I'm gonna go ahead over there. Be like, hey guys, I'm gonna check out this room over here. Okay, <laughs> should, <laughs> should probably go with. Hang on. <laughs> oh, goody! <laughs> Thorny, do you see it? Do you see it, Thorny? Um, <laughs> you might have to reload really your page, but yeah, it, it should reload. be... Should be under your senses. I'm I'm touching it after Thorny anyway, so why are we all touching the crystal? (laughs) For science. I love science. I think mom's whistle. And I touch the crystal. Said where should it be? Under your senses. Character sheet left side underneath your perception passive perception. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Senses. Yeah, yeah, if you click on it, it should probably show up as like Interesting. Okay. I'm okay with that. You want to be the one that reveals what happens? Um, Thorny, Thorny now has 30 foot tremor sense. Sweet. Oh, damn. I mean, I was touching it after Thorny touched it and it didn't implode, so. <laughs> <laughs> I touched it as well. So, Kythos touches it. Mm-hmm. Ooh, Crystal! Can I get to roll this? I want, well, I, saw that, so I want to touch the yellow one at the end. I'm going to touch the yellow one. <laughs> all just... I do have a theory. Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering if machine. touching the other ones that we've already touched might give us other things, but I don't know. Can I do something oh, to Thorny? Sorry. Yep, 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 yep. Oh. Let's give Badger a minute. Badger, yeah. can I do everything? <laughs> Badger's, getting, Badger's getting badgered. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, Kythos, go ahead and reload to see if you see it. Okay. And then Alamos was the next one. Yeah. That declared it. It's not the same one for everyone. I've got no. blind sight for 30 feet. <laughs> Which is a cat. It's great. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> like all of a sudden the room just yeah. gets yeah. even clear. Yeah. So <laughs> like, fuck magical darkness. I could just see. <laughs> 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 My whiskers are tingling. <laughs> um. That's I, like I know you're there. What? <laughs> yep. <laughs> I was going to say. You know, like, what guys? Timmy, are you rolling on a table? Yep. Oh, I, I really I want someone to get in true sight. Uh, I, I touched right. the yellow one. That'd be awesome if somebody. You touched the yeah. yellow one? I touched the yellow one. It does nothing. Yeah. You've already yeah. interacted with the purple crystal that wasn't here. Okay. Or you've already yeah. interacted with the yellow crystal that wasn't here. It's what gave your ability to use your, your gem in your wrist as a bag of holding. Oh, damn it. All right, it's all right, um, chicken. I I would have tried it too, just out of theory, just to see what would happen. So yeah, so, yeah. At least now we know. Uh, what do I see in this room, Badger? Uh, you see what would be two beds. Uh, is two sarcophagi. Oh, 
And on each of the sarcophagi inscribes two names. Okay. I mean, I've got to guess, but... Someone want to guess what it is? Abrida. Uh-huh. And... Oh, wait, you said... Uh, you said... Drogon, yeah, the Ro- other one. Rodir? Nope. No, Rodir was part of the original group. Wait, nope. does it say Xenocrates on it? Yep. Because there was four... Yeah. Well, that's for the others, and, then and scribbled on what looks him. to be blood on the wall on the far wall is here lies. Uh, so oh, point... Cross it. Hold on, hold on. Cross is opened. He did a seventeen. I did. Cast. Okay. Yes. Uh, so I got before... Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. Let Tim resolve. Paper is set up. Have to go open... through. So correct. Let Badger do the Badger it's, stuff. Yeah, this is going to be probably a key thing that might change things, so. <laughs> I have blind sight. Nice, you got blind sight also. I'll take it. Hey, blind sight is, yeah, definitely good. I mean, I also have anybody... dark vision of 60 feet as well. So yeah. I'm just, everything's just Same. clear. Same. Well, see, blind sight works for it on, like, magical darkness. So, mm-hmm. the spell darkness. You know, so does Trevor's gone darkness. And Trevor has yep. so so very yep. similar abilities. Basically, yeah. Okay. I think the only thing with um is that with blind sight is obviously you can't feel anything that is going underneath you. Because yeah. There are creatures that burrow. That's why tremor sense is so much better because you can still sense things going underneath you. But I think with like tremor sense, you want to be able to see stuff flying down. and blind. You might. Yeah. If they're close enough, theoretically. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Looks like it looks like some because it is 30 feet, so so you yeah. pop open which one drogues? Yes, it is completely empty except right where what would, would be a pillow and a head is a strange looking clock, small, about the size of a baseball. Does this seem to have some weird familiar motif like somebody else who has dealt with time? Like our lovely magician over in Bruxus who likes to tinker with time himself and space? Oh, you're talking Thessalar? Yes. No, uh, not Thessalar. No? Um, no, that is so. Are you talking Lohan? Oh, oh, Lohan? Uh, no. Does it seem like any kind of... Well, I guess then that would also be does the magic... Is there any magic emanating from it? Yes. Uh, Does the magic seem familiar like I've encountered it before? No. Okay. Um, So, well, at least there's no dead body. (laughs) But... um, Okay. Uh, I call over for assistance for somebody who can help me push the other two open. Um, and I would probably then telepathically tell Kythos to tell somebody else, you know, maybe try to find some others and open them up and see what we find. I hate desecrating burials, but this is weird. There's no dead body in there. So I, I will, I will call over to uh protec. <laughs> uh, like, hey, uh, help. Live, get the covers off those sarcastic sarcophagi. Uh, yeah. And I'll come up to cross this and be like, uh, touching the purple mm. crystal, uh, I can see a lot clearer now. Um, even yeah, yeah, no, that's disrespectful. Cross is being a mental note to make sure that he touches his cr- uh, wrist against the crystal because he's like, yeah, uh, okay. I'll help you with this, and then I'm going to be the guinea pig on the orange one. Um, All right, um, yeah, I will, will help open cross this. Well, while that's open, happening, yeah. I see Andreas is sneaking up on everybody around uh, the purple crystal. I think he oh, is, yeah. I, I, I've tried to. Uh, check out to see who needs what so I was gonna hopefully uh, use prayer of healing that's not too bad okay there's there's some people who definitely need some health back yeah Uh, Yeah. hey Andreas look science and I slap the red crystal the red crystal we already touched that 
Yeah, we oh, wait, Elamos, I, I don't, don't know, know that. I'm just know. seeing pretty oh, crystals. Elamos like, science. wasn't with us for any of the other four crystals. Did the, uh, the, didn't they also all retro go into retro um, effect for any of the group members who entered? Because it kind of seemed like that because even... Because they hit the first one, which was the Bag of Holding. But then Protec and Crosses came in. And uh, we then had that ability already. Oh, no, no. Bag of Holding was the Abolith that you were with us for. The other one was so... the Portals. The Dragon so we, already, we already had that. So Okay, so the Portals was already a thing. Like, we already had that ability kind of thing. Uh, Thorny, Kythos, Protec, you get 11 HP back. I don't know about... The rest of you, because I know a lot of us are at full HP already. Isn't it, um... How much uh, 11? Is it AoE? Yeah, distance, isn't it in an AoE kind of distance deal? Yeah, but I can choose any up to six people. Oh, that's right. You can choose up within. Uh, I'll take feeling. it. That's right. Okay, I'm fine. Don't worry does about it, me. Like, I didn't get hit. Does that, like, give out bonus HP? Hang on. Um, this well. Like, or temporary HP, I should say? No, yeah, I don't think prayer of healing does that. Mm. No, mm. the only one that does temporary is aid, um, uh, faint, um, or false health, false life. Can I roll it a second time, <laughs> or should I save it? You can save it. We're not that bad. I think. Yeah, I would say we save okay, it because we may level. have a we may have a rest here at this point too. Okay, because the reason why I said that is because I know Thorny was at the lowest, so I was like, <laughs> Thorny yeah, still touches so the crystal, <laughs> and then yeah, he gets kind Thorny of like excited. Just not worried about it. Yeah. What's up? Jax touches the crystal, and then kind of gets excited. Invisibility, mm -hmm. darkness. Trevor says, "Bring it." <laughs> <laughs> Andreas wants to touch this crystal. It is nothing. I'm I'm gonna like I said I'm gonna help uh Crosses get the lids off these other two sarcophagi and then I'm gonna touch the orange crystal. Okay, first let's go to Living Krah Protect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. Protect going lifty lifty. Oh hell yes, no! Yes, I like Protect. I need your help, man. What are your morals on grave robbing? <laughs> yeah, nah. And about that. Okay, then, uh, mm. Would you believe me if I told you there are children I mean, stuck in the sarcophagi? We need to open the sarcophagi to save these I children. Mean, Kythos oh, did God. say... Or Kythos will update upon seeing the lid off of the one to protect and live. There's like, no there's... Body. Doesn't look like there's any bodies in these. I just mean, I, like, live, like, looks over and just, like, kind of, like... Dun, 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 dun. protect, though. <laughs> Just because it doesn't look like there's bodies in it doesn't mean there isn't. It's the hypothesis is that they're not. They, or there's they, definitely they, something they, weird going on. Protect. I, I basically mm. say like, protect, protect. Do you, do you hear that? That basically imitate just... I think there's ducks in those sarcophagi. They need our help, protect. We must save the ducks. Oh, no. Why the would duck, there be ducks in the sarcophagi? <laughs> Just like, just like, why is Nobody there a little girl in the, in the ninth level? Which is of one of the great injustices of this smart thing, bro. But nobody yeah. ducks. They're rubber ducks. Damn it! How? It's like, I guess I don't think Rudrick's smarter than I thought, isn't he? Not really. No. But that He's also means smarter that than Grog. Forms. Of well, could I? Don't could I roll me. deception? Could I roll Am deception? I aware of? of See if uh, Protect believes me that there are ducks inside those sarcophagi. Wouldn't it be performance? No, it's deception. I'm lying to him. Yeah, I'm lying to Protect to open the sarcophagi saying there's ducks in there. Yeah, but you're like making duck sounds. It would be against Protect's insight, but yes. All right, uh, Badger, you know the roll. You know the roll. He's making duck sounds. Can I use, uh, yeah. Yeah, can I use speak with animals? <laughs> to interpret what the ducks are saying, <laughs> if anything, the duck. <laughs> sure. Oh my oh god, god. <laughs> it's fucking great. Get yeah, it's simply just to out. open up some uh, <laughs> coffins, you know, just it's like a, interaction. Oh, I love so, it. Uh, Liv, what are you saying in in duckish? From a say, "Happy, it's dark." Duck. 
We're supposed to be in the south. Oh, you're through it, so. Please. They have oh, us. Fine. So, dog, we can't see. We're scared. Oh, yeah. we're I breadcrumbs. pity the we're breadcrumbs. Tries breadcrumbs. To fool the <laughs> fighter. <laughs> Yeah. There's yeah. ducks in there. You know how upset Protex is going to be when there's not ducks in there, my guy? It's sad. Yeah. But I have a horn now. Into, I'll just mark it up to uh, horn. Horn. the other horn's Someone broken. So I'm already kind of sad. No, I mean, like I said, uh, there are ducks in there and whatnot. I believe not. I'm rolling. I'm basically lying to them. But if there are no ducks in there, because they're not any ducks, but hopefully the deception is high enough, I'll feign that I was <laughs> tricked too with him and I'll be heartbroken with him that there are no ducks. You better wow. hope he doesn't just shove you in the sarcophagus. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Okay. Before we do anything, before we do anything, please, for the love of God, tell me, Mouse, you at least have. You are a druid and you do not have conjure animals? Are you kidding me, Mouse? Druids are druids. People can play druids, druids differently. No, I know, but then at least you think being a druid, yeah, there would be at least conjure animals on here. Art. No, you know what? No, I okay. I got. I got this. I got this. I'm a sorcerer, and I don't have the mo I want, This is what I want to do. The or moment, <laughs> the moment Protec opens the sarcophagi, I want to basically cast a uh, summon beast, a land and uh, no, an air animal. I want to summon a duck, and I want to summon a duck inside the sarcophagi. There's no way. You still haven't rolled your deception yet. Yeah, I was gonna say, I, he still I hasn't rolled, but we can just well, completely I can't roll it. Of that. I got uh, Badger's got to roll it for me since I can't control a uh, live yet. But if <laughs> I do manage to convince Protect that there are ducks in there <laughs> and need our help, then, if, I, then uh, if that happens, I want to go for that plan. Sorry, I just noticed your name, Protect, and I love it. What did he mm. just name to? The mighty dude. <laughs> what did he do? Protect the mighty dude. So what am I rolling for oh. you? <laughs> oh, uh, deception. Because I'm trying to light light to protect uh, to open these sarcophagi to save the ducks. To save the ducks. Eighteen. And the opposed would be insight. 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 Well, yes! I guess the coffins are getting opened. All right, that <laughs> the moment that the moment that uh, Protect decides uh, when he opens it up, once I see there's a gap, I'm I'm going to use a fourth level uh, summon beast to summon a duck inside the sarcophagi. Things we do for fuck it. <laughs> the things I do for friends. So yeah, I'm using uh, these moments. There's no friends like the friends you gaslight. <laughs> hey, Ooh. it's a druid trying to convince a fighter. <laughs> it's a druid trying to convince a fighter, someone who could beat my ass to open up something. And if I'm lying, I already know Protect would probably never trust Live again. So I got to make sure to cover all bases. So there is a damn duck in there. Because I say there's a damn duck in there, and I no, have the ability to put a damn duck in there. Protect wouldn't beat your ass. It's just he's not going to go out of his way to save you. <laughs> exactly. So I'm going to put a damn duck in that sarcophagi. So when he opens it, there's a damn duck in there. A damned duck? A damned duck. <laughs> it's a yeah, hellish so we'll duck. Yeah, a demon duck in there. Fuck it. It's a demon duck. Yeah, don't fuck mean, it. It's already duck definitely Lord. damned for being in a sarcophagus that doesn't belong to it. <laughs> Well, I'm pretty it, sure you know, that's plus me. Oh know, my god! I don't know that maybe someone put the duck in there for maybe these people here are just like sick. They have a sick sense of humor. Yeah, can we? Try that to is looking around all? like Jesus Christ. Right, anyway, that's off velocity. So yeah, right. when Protec right. opens right. the sarcophagi, I'm basically I'm basically gonna. Uh, someone beats put a duck inside the sarcophagi. Just so Protect knows Liv is not lying. Or Vil is not lying. So you're going to try to put a duck in there as soon as it's opened? Yep, like the moment I see there's a space, there's a space, I'm busy uh, immediately summoning a, uh, a duck in there. So that way when Protect opens it up, he looks, there's a duck in there. He saved the duck's life. He's a hero to the fowls. 
whole yes. situation is. Oh. So project goes open and opens up a. Uh huh. Opens up. Do you know what? Do you care which one? Top one, bottom one. Uh, nope. Doesn't matter. All right. You open up Abra's because it's closer from everything. I don't. I don't think Protec would open up. <laughs> That's just me. Yeah. I'm just I don't feel yeah. 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 comfortable about that. Yeah, no, I don't think any amount of convincing would convince I don't think, he, I don't think Johnny was spoiled yeah. Opera does. <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah, he'd be like, oh, you know, no, that's labeled as Zeno's. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> the only problem with that logic? <laughs> I can't read. It's not <laughs> a dwarven. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you can read, but now you, you. Well, you can tell mission. that there's a body oh, shape, not, and you probably can tell that even though it's got a bullhorn, it's like the shape of an orc, and you'd be like, "That's weird. That seems like, based off everyone saying, you'd be like, that looks like Abra somehow, you know? Yeah, but still, because I'm, I'm guessing Protex no. probably looked up and down oh. on Abra, you know, a couple of times. <laughs> he rolled a three on his in check. So, Ooh. yeah, oh, no, all he knows is there's nothing there. All right. He rolled. <laughs> Say, come on, Protex, save those ducks. Open sarcophagus. Remove duck. You're free. <laughs> <laughs> I would have to open it, remove the duck, oh, and then God. immediately close it. And then, yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Got the duck out. <laughs> Done. <laughs> so Protex would just be able to lift it up one handed and be like, yep close <laughs> yeah that, that is true i mean I, I, sorry, it's you do that. well I within it. lift capacity i'm imagining okay you forgot there's like there's more ducks in there <laughs> come around spells real quick he's like quick. i only saw one <laughs> yep yeah you sure you sure about that listen all right let's just all right continue. So, ducks in there. Stop yeah let's so you try to continue on we're already at open the you'll open xenos yep and Free the duck, and the duck goes wandering off. Yep. Um, <laughs> it just looks back and it's like... I think a lot of in, us are just kind of like, where the fuck did the duck come from? And Protect, because you're looking into this, you see at the head there is a single ring. Ooh. Sketchy. Ooh, I basically take the ring. You're not the one that's looking in the sarcophagus. Damn it! Protect is. <laughs> I'll be like this. He's looking over uh, Protex show like, what's in there? <laughs> Stuff that isn't ours. Close yeah. sarcophagus. That tracks. Yeah, no, that's fine. <laughs> okay. Once yeah. a dog, once uh, a dog I will, I will just... assist yeah. processing yeah. and opening another one in this other room. <laughs> With two right. helping, can we just Which open one? both of them? Which one do you want to open first? Uh, so I opened up Drogue. The other one was um, Alondra and who else? Asandra and Lysander. Uh, Asandra and Lysander. Um, Asandra. Yep. All right. So between the two of you, you guys get this open. And at its head is a singular ring. So was now, I haven't closed clock. the lid on Drogue's. It is but you didn't move mm -hmm. the you didn't did touch not. the clock or anything like that. Um still getting a magical sense from this item? Yep. Okay. At this point, I <laughs> Hold on, I got a check. Yeah, no. Cross is definitely going to be I grab doing it. this. Yeah. I was going <laughs> to say I was going to grab it with my with my arcane <laughs> firearm. Like no, fine. Kaizos is too intrigued by just there only being a ring and no body, so it's gonna reach in and grab Cross the ring. Just goes over and grabs the freaking clock from the head of Drogues. He's like, fine. Like it's not <laughs> even like a real thought process. Thing gets opened, and Kaizos is just like, uh, ring. It, it, it is, just... it is, it is magical, but not necessarily nefarious. But I touch ring, and ring is fine. Ring is fine. Ring on. Shrug it, Cross. <laughs> it's I was like, gonna say, Cross is like, put ring on. <laughs> well, does this look like a ring that would fit Sandra's hand? Because I don't think it's gonna fit 
Try it's to magical, so it actually fits onto any hand. It doesn't really yeah. matter. Yeah. Yeah, so even if it felt big at first, it just kind of fits, or if it's kind of a, if it starts going on small, it just, small. It, yeah, just it just kind of slides, forms. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I've already got three things I'm attuned to, though, so that's why I don't want to necessarily put on something that I. Well, we can identify it. That's, okay, that's only if it requires attunement. Let's and it can be identified. I was I'll put say, it on my finger in order which, for it yeah. to be held in a way that it's out and know, did, whatever. But yeah, I'll put it on lovely uh, right middle. Uh, not sure how many spell slots that you've used, but uh, you get one back. Cool. Okay. Any level? I get one but any level? Uh, up to three. Up to three. Okay. So you can choose. Oh, well, I mean, I or up to third burned. levels. Okay. Oh, well, I right. did burn a third, so I'll take back the third. Sweet. Um. Okay. I mean, okay. So he sensed that. I mean, I'm holding the. What did you? It was like a clock. You said. Yep. Clock about the size like of a baseball. Watch? Mm -hmm. uh -oh. Um. Any kind of engraving. Any kind of runes on it that. Kind of signifies like a magical saying to activate it. Why is there a button? <laughs> yeah, mm. button that so twist turns things. Uh, what language do you know? Uh, common, Dorvish, and Infernal. Droke is a dwarf, right? He is, but it might vary. We'll see. Is this clock still running? You cannot that read it. That was also going to be my next question. <laughs> oh, you can't read it. Okay, I cannot read it. Um, so I can always have somebody else look at it who might have, I know who might have other languages out of my realm. Or I can rest for one day and I think I can change out my spells and pick up a comprehend language, I think. I'd have to double what language is those you know? Um, common, obviously. Uh, Dorvish yeah. and Infernal. I've got Giants and Orc if that helps. I, I don't so, know how uh, useful. Can but... I tell? Can I tell what race the language is? <clears throat> you want me to roll a history check because I can if you need me to. Sure. I mean, I doubt that I'm going to be able to read it. I've just got Common and Leona. <laughs> So. Uh, dirty twenty. Nice. Like I say, I got Sylvan, Celestial, and Dwarven creatures. Creatures and races of the forest would know this language. It's Druidic. Maybe Sylvan. Wait, wait. You said creatures of the forest. Sylvan, yeah, yeah. Wait, can I read it? I mean, I'm a lion, but I'm not of the forest, really. Mm. Yeah, but do you know Sylvan? I, I know Leonin and Kong. I, I think that's pretty much what it, it is. It's a, uh, yeah, it's probably most likely Druid or Sylvan. So, I, uh, okay, those peaks at it probably can't read it. Well, I'm going to hold on Leonin, to it. Yeah. Um, and we've got one more casket. Um, mm -hmm. So, oh, yep. Kythos, yeah, uh, we'll open it up and. Or Kythos could snatch it. I will grab whatever is in there. It was purely you... just I rolled I rolled impulse control and I rolled low. You... I was already prepared in some way too. It just was like you remove a tiny figurine that is in the shape of a ruby chicken. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> you heard me. A ruby right. chicken. I'm hoping a ruby this is chicken. A yep, in the shape of a ruby chicken, what? and that was um, that was Lysander's. Yep. Yeah. I'm really hoping that's a figurine of power. I I think <laughs> I think it is. Church, I think it is. And we still got what's, what's going on over there too. Uh, yes, sir. What's a figurine um, of power? Okay, so we're done. 
So let's All touch right. that orb real okay. quick and I'm good. Oh, yeah, I was gonna touch I was gonna say one. I was gonna say, yeah, I need to I need to but do my touching of the orbs to the too, other room. but we'll go back to the other room. Okay, so and I'll mostly uh, I kind of doing the commotion uh, How do you spell Alondra's name again? Is over to... Asandra. Asandra's? Is it um, S Sandra or A uh, Sandra? E Sandra. E S S A N D R A. So I was like, I know it's the opposite of the Monday one. Yeah, Mondays was A Sandra. A Sandra. Yeah. Oh, it's like Cassandra, but instead it's just missing. Okay, gotcha. Yep. But this one is S. And this had to this had just a ring in it. Now we don't really know fully what that ring is, but okay. It's just I'm writing down the what item it was. Um, I don't know about Zeno's yet. Or Abra's. So, okay. I almost walked over to Lip and um, also I... So, to... Because uh, then we're already... Bill, Bill, four. Okay. Yeah. Do we want to kind of just Bill. rush ahead at this point? Um, I mean, we could also pause it. I mean, depends on what you're Pause it, and we got I'll another casket. We got one more surf. Yeah, I'll remember that. And one that got open, but nobody's touched the item inside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I yeah, just want to, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, I, I, I mean, we can rush through, obviously, if no one tries to do anything crazy, because it's pretty much. Yeah, much if we're just going to. Yeah, I, I say we. Muscle through if it's just okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So try not to role play anybody too hard. No, no offense, but. <laughs> yeah, no. Um. Like I said, so. Yeah. Um, and then Abra's. I, I kind of. I okay. I see Potek open, close the coffin, so I walk in. And kind of, I'm just like, see if I can like squeeze past the two of them. Okay. Well, to be fair, it lives pretty small. I could probably just pick up, move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, actually, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to walk up, see Bill, pick up, move, and then just walk in. Um. All right. I, I asked Botek what was in the other coffin. And then also just kind of scooch over here. A duck, didn't you pass it? No. Where's the duck? No. I wonder if there's another Water one in here. Did, did you drop concentration? Yeah, that's a concentration spell on it. But uh, I didn't drop concentration. The duck wandered, wandered off, you know? Um, I'm getting out of here. Alamos, if you, if you want to curse a bad luck, that, that's on you. <laughs> bad luck? I don't believe in bad luck. Oh, bad yeah. luck. I don't believe in good luck. And bad luck. Only good times. And don't forget the shitty ones. Yeah. And I try to open this coffin. Oh, that be just a strength check. I think so, yeah. Oh, you put a plus three for your strength modifier. Yeah. Oh. Thank you. Wee. All right, so what are you doing in that room? Uh, to I try to open. Oh, yeah. Huh? Alamos what? opened a sarcophagus. Yep. Ooh. We'll try to anyway. With a twenty-two Abros? strength check. Yeah, alimony. 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 Did you just call I me don't think alimony? Low high is... Yep, he did. Or... We haven't talked to Lohan that much. I got you, Buck. I got you. 
Um, I hate to break it to you. I think your tablet. Oh no, it's not dead. Um, how many... Was I successful in my output? How did it make it easy to go with them? I'm just going to whip up those uh, random potatoes. Yeah. Should I put a duck in there to make it uh, more inspirational? They just... I don't know. Just give the DM a second. Yeah. He's just... <laughs> Get it. Where this party and goddamn ducks. Yeah, you damn right. Motif of the group. Mm. Mascot. <laughs> I need to draw. I need to draw mask like a mascot banner now, just to shove on the um, shove on the front of the uh the mother duck. We technically use um, Thorny's uh, god symbol, which is the a head of a unicorn. Absolutely. Uh, no. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's usually that's usually our symbol. Yeah, we have like ducks, and then yeah, that's our that's our ducks. Now, give me out. The, our, All right. Our so you <laughs> you open up Abra's casket, and inside is a weird looking golden circlet. A golden circlet. Doink. <laughs> okay. God damn it. Zeno has, Zeno has to, but... Obviously, I head back over to uh, to the Andy over here. Hey, was there anything in this one apart from a duck? Uh, the ducks as well. The ducks got freed. Um, the duck got freed and then walled but, off. But inside there is a ring. Uh, I mean, I was asking Potek, like, hey, anything else in here? <laughs> I'm not even sure Protec really noticed the ring. Well, he did. Sorry. He's like, yeah, nope. He's, uh, yeah, he's like, he just left it. Yeah, he just left it. So. Yeah, all you want, he just wanted to save the duck. That was it. it. Fuck everything else. Can I roll strength again? Sure. Because, yeah, Protec did close right. the lid on that one. He did. He's like, get the duck. And I'm like, oh, look at the ring. Close it. Ah, damn it. Oh. I actually don't know what that is. I think it's a 15. Yeah. All right, you open it up. And there is a singular ring inside. I'll take the ring. Okay. Do I notice anything about the, the circle in the ring? Other than they're magical. I don't know. All right, let's uh, touch right. that orb. Yeah, so I'm the touching the orange one, one or the purple. I'm doing both. I'm just gonna. Kaito's reached out and touched the orange one. I guess orange first, as and soon then as we left. The purple one will give you some sort of side thing, but yeah. But you kind of notice that after that Kaito's attunes to the orange one, that there is this ironic, pleasant grin on his face. <laughs> That's uh, very fitting. Fuck I'm also I'm also great. changing the name to that, by the way. Nice. Wow. <laughs> you're gonna, yeah, you're gonna need a. Well, after the session, tell inform us on what you just picked up for him. <laughs> All right. So, who still needs to touch the? I do. I'll move out of the way. Oh, okay. the purple, now the purple, the, 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 the white yeah. one or the yeah. purple one. Crosses. Okay, crosses. Was I supposed to touch that? I think, I think, I think, crosses live. Andreas and everybody touch the purple. Uh, everybody will, touch the orange. I will. Yeah, if you have a, if you have a sense, then you probably already touched the purple. Then you need to touch the orange. I don't think I ever did anything. All right. All right. Um. Liv just goes up to the purple one, gives a gives a good old high five. Yeah, Vil, so, give, give, it, a, give it a second. Five. He's yeah, looking at five. my sheet. <laughs> <laughs> do you do you want to wrap the stream, or do you want to keep this in the stream? Because we can always recap what we get. Yeah, yeah, we can mm -hmm. recap what we get. I'm thinking. And then once does anyone have? 
Does anyone People have, have done what they needed to do? We I'll can sleep the next or session. grab the shit that they needed, then we can just they can head off. Yeah, I, I'm gonna avoid touching the glowy thingies. <laughs> the crystals that everybody's that everyone touching. else is that touching. Literally, everyone yeah. is touching. I'm gonna I mean, I'll call over to Andreas. Cool. Like, Even no, the no, smart touch it. one, you know, is touching them. It's, <laughs> it's good. It's good touch. Okay. Okay. So that's Not a different touch. one. Alrighty. Um, so who else still? Me. Protect. Protect touch prequel. <laughs> Duck sight. Yeah, yours is yours is different. You get true sight. No, no. Yeah. Um so you know, Alamos is happy that, you know, they've got a dark vision of sixty feet, right? Mm hmm I have dark vision now of hundred and twenty. <laughs> Oh my god. Nice. You have a you are just uh, you are a flashlight. <laughs> Your guys' sniper can literally fucking see in the dark for yeah, quite basically, a while. <laughs> already has dark vision gained an upgraded dark vision, so I basically made it a free superior dark vision. Nice. <clears throat> okay. So who still oh, needs man. to touch it? There's Protec. Oh yeah. Uh, Liv goes up to the purple one, gives a high five. These crystals are like the actual color of the right, yeah. Yep. All right, there's Liv. Who else? Ah, you see this is Protec, right? Or did Protec? Yeah, Protec. Yeah, Andreas, I think. And, and Andreas, which like I'll, I'll pat. We, even though Andreas like, is like, no, no, I don't want to. We kind of all just force him to do it. <laughs> He's like, I'll, to I'll tell him. Oh, I'll tell him. Just be like, it will help your vision. It is good. And it we will. roll. What do, you you what do you get? One. What do you get? Definitely touch the orange one. I don't know if we all get the same thing with the orange one, but I love to. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's all the same for the orange. Oh yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> so it's like casters. All right. Especially so I think touch. that touch. I still have to touch the orange one too. Oh, so so everyone, the yeah. everyone touch the purple. Yeah. Yep. Andreas reluctantly so. touches it. Cool. Yep. You could check your page to see what you earned. Um, and and as everyone like... as everyone goes around and then attunes to the orange one, you have unlocked yeah. the ability that we are calling catnap. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Tim described it to me and I was like, oh, this is great. Can activate, by activating catnap, your character un uncontrollably falls asleep for five minutes. <laughs> But wakes up as if they have taken a long rest. Damn. Oh. Mm -hmm. Looks nice. like the Word. advantage on the uh, spell. Yeah. Yeah. It's the good side of that spell. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's, it's yeah, like it is a, essentially the catnap spell. But it's catnap, I believe, is a short rest inside of like five minutes. Yes. Question. So I guess superior cat dev? I don't know. Enhanced cat dev? What? Yeah. Cat Question about this though. The Kytho snap. I'm immune to be put a, uh, to being put to sleep. How's that work for me? Well, because you it's put yourself. It's you. It's not. It's you, it's you're not putting yourself to sleep. On you, it's you. Yeah. So. You're immune like, to you're somebody you're else saying go to bed, and you're just like, yeah. what? But if you activate the ability in the crystal, you will. Pass out. Yeah, it's um, it's also like those uh, the drinks in Boulder Skate. If you've picked them up at the uh, later acts. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so Thorny, can you do me a favor real quick? Oh, sure, there's potions in Boulder Skate. Uh, you didn't know yeah. that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's certain ones double. that um either do short rest um that you enact short rest points. um enact long yeah. rest um mm. they're rare um. 
And I think you can actually eventually make them, but you awesome. don't really get most of them until about Act Three. They, they have nice them. Mid -uses. Or if I, I got had one, them, I didn't realize two. what they were. Yeah, I you might want to check, if, especially if you're if you're somebody who just like picks up everything, like me. Um, who doesn't? My wife. <laughs> <laughs> she tries to be nuts. She, I'm just, All right. How'd you pick that so up? You guys, I don't want to. You guys have the items. Yeah. Um, All right. Yeah. And then, are you wanting to identify them before we pause, or yeah, wait until next? I mean, time. we can do that we next do that. session. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's oh, okay. that's cool. something because I actually have to long rest to change the spell out unless somebody else has it. But all right. Well, then we that's... will. Pause for now okay. and pick up in a couple of weeks and figure out what the hell just happened. So I'll note yeah. down about that. Whoa, was it? We will. Moving in so that's all. We will uh, well. say goodbye to Kicking YouTube and we'll see you guys in a couple of weeks. Peace. Bye. Bye. Bye.